Yo, what's going on? What's going on? Like the live, tap the like button. Tap the screen, tap the screen. Let's try to get a conversation going today. What's going on? What's up with everybody? Let's go ahead and get those likes up. Let's try to get in the algorithm, man. Let's try to get a conversation today. Does the Quran have issues? We want to know, man. We got questions. We got questions we need answers to. Share the live to any Muslims you know so we can get the conversation started. I haven't went, on, went live on TikTok in a minute. So let's see. Let's see what we get today. Good morning, Hook. In Australia. Okay, okay. Hope you're having a good morning, man. Go ahead, type that, tap that screen, tap that screen. And we only got like six people in here with a thousand likes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Can you guys hear me clearly too? I just want to make sure y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear me good as well too. Making sure I don't got to yell or nothing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Canel. Canel Chavez lot. Only Muslims request up, y'all. Only Muslims. Only Muslims, y'all. We doing YouTube, bro, bro. Uh, you, you starting a YouTube channel? You tell my voice is off beat or, or off sync? It's all good. It's all good, uh, Kanel. I thought you were Muslim. I was going to bring you up, but right now, let me try to go ahead and grab a Muslim. Let's go ahead and build a live up real quick. Off sync. I don't know how to change that. Uh, it, it may be uh, It may be yours. You might need to refresh your app. Is my voice off sync to anybody else? It may just be TikTok. I wouldn't know how to fix that. Let me try something. Does that work? So it was delayed for everybody? Wow. <laughs> he said he <laughs> feel like he watching a foreign movie, yeah. I just tried to fix it. Maybe, uh, maybe when we get a guest, it might, uh, it might fix itself up. It might fix itself. It's good now. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, cool, y'all. So look, your friend Word is cool, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word is, yeah, Word is legit, man. He's pretty cool. Pretty cool dude, man. So let's go ahead and share the live. Let's try to get a Muslim in here, man. We want to see if the Quran has issues. Oh, you said I'm on his live all the time. Yeah. Yeah, his lives are pretty his lives are pretty epic. Pretty epic, man. Who is that? Oh. Yeah, man. Let's see what happens. I haven't been on TikTok in a minute, but maybe we can get a Muslim up here. We'll see. I heard they've been, uh, they, not, they haven't been coming up lately. What's going on? I'm a pasta for you. Yeah, it's a parody religion. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the Quran definitely has issues. Um, the biggest issue I see is uh, Allah is the most merciful, yet for the simple sin of not believing in, in his existence, you get tortured forever. So, uh, yeah, it's, that's extremely contradictory. Oh, you're a, uh, you're a Christian? No, I'm an atheist. Satanist. 
to be specific. Bro, what? <laughs> Alright, man. I'm looking for moves. Six, six, six. Ave Tana. Ave Satanas. Uh, Hail Satan. Alright, brother. What? <laughs> he said, I'm an atheist. No, Satanist. What? He don't know what he want to say. You don't believe there's a God, but you believe there's, there's a devil, huh? All right, my guy. Muslims only, y'all. I see two requests right now. Are you guys Muslim? If you're not Muslim, remove your request, please. So I see top floor and smooth. Hopefully, you guys are Muslim. Ranch, I see you in there, man. You want to pop up? Pull up, Ranch. I see you. You ain't got to hide, my brother. Smooth operator. What up? How's it going? What's up, Ranch? What's up, brother? How's it going? Oh, pretty good, man. Looking to talk to a real Muslim. <laughs> hey, bro, what was that atheist Satanist doing on there? Uh, that, those two statements didn't even make sense. <laughs> I'm, I'm an atheist, atheist but I believe in Satan. <laughs> What is going on, man? <laughs> oh, dude. That was confused. Confusion at its finest, man. Man, uh, does the Quran have issues? What what is the issues does the Quran have? Okay, so let's get let's get into it, man. So so I would believe that your answer would be no, right? The Quran doesn't have issues. Correct. Okay. Does the Quran have issues with prior history? No. No? No. Okay. So what prior history before Islam can authenticate it? Uh ath authenticate it? Yeah. Uh it it depends on the subject uh, and what you're referencing to. Uh use whatever you want. What prior history before Islam authenticates it? And I'm not just saying like okay, some random person. I mean, you can use that, but it'll be dissected and kind of thrown out pretty quick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It depends on what what uh, previous event you're referring to, or uh, that 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 talks about it. A previous event. Well, I'm not. I mean, I'm leaving it open so you can go to whatever piece of historical evidence prior to Islam that you want to go to that will help you authenticate Islam. Well. If, if you're if you're talking about, for example, the, the beginning of time, okay, that that can be proven scientifically, okay, uh, um, human existence can be proven scientifically. Um, uh, there's many many things that can be proven, you know, using scientific uh, logic, scientific reasoning, scientific evidences. Um, and then I, I'm I'm assuming you're moving more towards uh, historical events. Well, I'm moving more towards just anything historically prior to Islam that will verify and authenticate Islam. Yeah. So Islam didn't. So yeah. So to clarify, you would agree that Islam didn't start in the sixth century, correct? Is Islam? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. How can you verify that? Okay, so the basis of Islam is to submit your will to God, believing in God himself, the one true God, okay? So the, the message of Islam over the course of history uh, has changed by depending on God's, uh, um, uh, depending, depending on God's word. For example, the, the book that Moses brought uh, and the book that Jesus got or brought to his people are not the same book. Right. There's differences in the two, meaning referring to like jurisprudence law. The, you said the book that Moses got is not the same book of, of who? A Jesus. Or okay. Isa. In, in, the, in the sense that they had different. Um, uh, they had the same message, but I'm talking about in terms of like, um, like you know, we, in Arabic, we say Sharia. So it was like the Islamic law. Mm hmm. Right. What, what was permitted maybe for Moses, it was not permitted for Jesus. What, what was permitted for Jesus was not necessarily uh, uh, 
uh, um, permitted for Moses. What? what uh, and and before before but, Moses. But, but I didn't. But but I'm not asking that. I asked, how can you verify your claim that well, Islam didn't start in the sixth century, and you went to like Moses, a book Moses had, and a book Jesus had that. I didn't answer the question. That's, that's what I'm trying to explain to you, is what is the definition of Islam, right? To understand the definition of Islam, you need Islamic evidence. You need Islamic sources, okay? Oh, we're talking about Islam, the religion, not Islam, the definition. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to explain to you. Islam, the religion, can only be defined by Islam, by Islam itself. What Islam speaks, or what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa spoke, okay, about what Islam is. Okay, so define Islam. I told you, uh, Islam is the message that comes from God, uh, de decreed by the one true God. That's what Islam means? The, well, that is what the definition of... If, if you're talking about linguistically, no. But what the word Islam actually means in, in, a, in this complete sense, yes. Linguistically... So, the, the, so in, its, in its complete sense, Islam means... You said Islam means what in this complete sense? The scriptures, uh, the the message of God. The, okay, so Islam in its say that again. I'm I'm so confused. Islam in the linguistical meaning, it just means submitting the one who submits his will to God. Okay. Okay, but in its in, in actual meaning, uh, in in its entirety, it refers to the belief in God's message, for whatever time period you're living to. Okay, how does that prove that Islam didn't start in the 6th century? Didn't start in the 6th century? Yeah, you're supposed to be proving Islam didn't start in the 6th century. This is what I'm explaining to you. My, my evidence is, is, is that, uh, for example, if you go into the Torah, the, the books of the Jews, uh, and they themselves believe, they believe in one God. Uh -huh. Okay, And they will agree with you in saying that the, the, the book that we, we have it came from Moses. And Moses preached to the, the Israelites, and uh, you believe that you believe that the God of the Torah is the same God of the Quran. Yes. Which Torah? The Torah that 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 the the Moses originally brought, came down with. Is that the one that we have? Do we have all the books in the scriptures? No. They they they've been and, and maybe there are some things that are are the same as what Moses came down with, but they, they've been uh, they've been altered over time. So we don't have the Torah. Not its entirety, no. How do you know we don't have it in its entirety? Because there's contradictions in it. There is no contradictions in the Torah. Yes, there is. No. So, so what? Oh, here, here's the thing. Are you trying to validate that Islam didn't start in the sixth century using corrupted scripture? No, no. That, that, that's okay. So, okay. So, give me something. It's it's about. I can prove give it, me, but give me something solid. Hold on one second, because. Give me something solid, not something that is corrupted, not something that is not its in, in its entirety. You said uh, the Torah is proof that Islam didn't start in the sixth century. But then you're saying that we don't have the Torah in its entirety and the Torah that we do have is corrupted on, on the basis of quote unquote contradictions. Well, if that's the case, then we don't have a trustworthy Torah to verify Islam. You're, you're, you're misunderstanding. My my proof is not in the Torah that exists in this day. My my point uh, is that the people who, uh, or the Israelites essentially, the people who are the, the Jewish people, they would agree on the statements that I made. For example, they would agree that they they believe in only one God. Okay, would it, would it, would a, would a Jew disagree with that statement? Yeah, I mean, there's there's other religions that believe in one God. Doesn't okay. mean it's the same God. Let me, let me continue. And they would say, they would also believe that Moses was a prophet of God. Okay. Okay. And then he came with a message, which was the Torah. Yeah, but how does that prove that that's the religion of Islam? No, no. That's, that's, that's that. what I'm trying to explain to you. These are things that we have in common that we both agree upon. Okay. And like I yeah. told you. Having something in common and agreeing on something doesn't mean that Islam started prior to the sixth century that's what i'm trying to explain to you islam islam is a is an, is an arabic term okay but for example if you were to tell uh, uh, uh if i told them 
if, if you were to go to a, a Jew, right, and I told them, hey, this is the definition of Islam, they said, yeah, we agree with that. That's what we believe. We believe right. we believe in one God and the messages that came from God. We believe in the previous prophets. We believe in the messages of Moses. Okay. Yes, that's what Islam means. But yeah, but that still doesn't prove that Islam didn't. That that still doesn't prove that Islam didn't start in the sixth century. You're saying Jews and I have something in common. Okay. okay but okay. I don't accept their scriptures because their scriptures are not in its entirety. Okay. okay. Let, let me explain this better. So how does that? How does that prove, let let how me does that prove what you're trying to claim. Let, let me use the word for example, monotheist. Okay. What what is mon what does the word monotheist mean? The belief in one God. Okay. So if I go to somebody who believes in, let's say Yahweh, mm -hmm. all right, he says this is one God. Is he a monotheist? Sure. Okay, then you go to a Zoroastrian who believes in you know, one, the sun as the God. Okay. Is he a monotheist? Sure. Okay. Now does does this term that we're using in this day and age, right, exist in the past? Yes. Sure. It, but what it, is that? It, it always it, 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 it always existed. Right. But what you're doing is is you're connecting terms and you're saying, look, they believed what we believe. <clears throat> so that means my religion started way back then because they believed what we believe. That doesn't. No. No. That's not how it works. No, no, you, <coughs> you can't. You can't. I, I, I'm not proving. What, you have to. Show, what I'm trying to explain to you the the word Islam, right, and its definition has always been the same, but the rules that apply in the religion of Islam has changed over time. Okay. For example. Okay, so let me be let me let me be clear. Like, let, me, you, let, me, let me clarify. Let me let me, let me clarify. Let me, so we, you, let me ask. Let me ask you a question. Let me so let, you, hold on one second. Let me let me you clarify have been, it so we can be ahead. one second. Let me clarify it so we can be on topic then. Because yeah. I didn't ask you <clears throat> to prove to me that <clears throat> the belief in one God uh, started in the sixth century, right, or existed prior to the sixth century, right. I didn't <clears throat> I didn't ask you that. What I asked you was <clears throat> how do you prove that your religion didn't start in the sixth century? And you're going to the definition of the belief in one God using Islam. And you're saying, look, other people believed in one God. So this is my proof. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. I'm trying I'm trying to explain. You said can you prove uh that, that Islam didn't exist in the sixth century? I'm, so to prove that it, it did exist before. No, 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 I didn't say that. I said prove to me that Islam didn't start yeah. in the sixth century. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It didn't exist prior to the sixth century. No, I'm saying prove that it did exist prior to the sixth century. Prior, to, okay. So to prove to you is first we have to understand what the word Islam means. Correct. We already, under, we already understand that. Let's no, no, we don't. We're trying, to, we're trying to move past that. No, no, no. You, 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 because you, you clearly don't. If, if you understood what it means, Islam then you would have agreed already. Islam, Islam means submission to the will of God. Okay. So, so did Adam submit his will to the will of God? Was it the God of the Quran? I'm just sure. It doesn't matter which God it is right now, but God in in general. What do you mean? It doesn't matter which God there's, it is. There's only one God. One guy. Okay, so Islam. Okay, so so what you're saying is, is Islam just means submission to the will of God. That's well, it. So no, no. I can the submit word. my will. I can submit my will to uh, a bag of rocks, and no, no, um, no, I, no. I would. I, I I was following, you know, Islam. God has exclusive traits. Okay. No, just answer the question. If I submit my will to a bag of rocks and no. I think that that's my God, no, no, no. What? I'm not. I'm not following what? Islam, right? Okay, no. so you wouldn't. Let me. Okay, so, God. Wait, wait, wait. so let me say this. Hold on one second. So let me say this. So you wouldn't put in connection what you're trying to do if you were talking about somebody who submitted their will to one God all the way during the time of Adam and said. I believe in one God, but their one God is a bag of rocks. You wouldn't point to them and say, see, look, no, these, see, look, these people here believed in one God, didn't they? 
and you wouldn't like, point to them. Like, like, okay, like, but why, why that, that's, would, that, that's wait, hold on, one second. One second. Why wouldn't you point to those people? Why wouldn't you say, well, look at those. Those people are monotheists. See, why wouldn't you use them as proof? Okay, I'll, I'll explain to you. Maybe I, I worked off the assumption you understood what one God meant, right? When I refer to one God, I'm referring to the exclusivity of that one God, the right of that one God. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Exactly. Wait, wait, wait. Because I just well, hold on one second. Because I just asked you, is it the God of the Quran? You said it doesn't matter. No, no. I said because you because you want to say oh, is you said that it, you said it doesn't Quran. matter. I, I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you. Give me a second. Now it matters. No, now it matters. no, no, no. Because the God of the Quran is the God is the same God that that came with the the same god of jesus and the same god of uh, moses and the same god of adam okay and i'll yeah, prove verified, that to you yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll prove it to you i'll prove I, I, so I'm, I'm gonna clarify it when we refer to the one god right we do not refer to a limited god correct sure no it's not a limited god so if somebody comes who says hey my god is a bag of rocks right is that the one god the one true god no because that bag, of rocks, the bag of rocks, the bag of rocks could be all powerful. Man. No, it's limited. It's limited. How? Says who? Says who? Because you said it's a rock, which it means it comes from Earth, which means it's it's, so it's, what? it's just because it's a rock doesn't mean it can't be God. So what? Because you, you're referring to a, a rock that came from Earth. That that's 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 a natural I'm resource. You, you're using your human knowledge of what a rock is. Yes. And you're to denounce that a rock can't be. Yes. God. If if anything if if anything exists in this uh, space and time then it is a limited creature. It's a limited being. According to who? According to the, to what uh, the Quran teach, teaches us. The Quran doesn't teach that. Yes, it does. Where? What? La, uh, God, la, la, what's the, what's the, the ayah? And there's nothing like him, nothing unto him. Uh, what does that, mean? that doesn't mean that if he comes to earth, he'll be limited. Yes, it does. He enters no, the creation, he's limited, yes. No, 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 no. Yeah. There's nothing like him. That means that there just means nothing. There's nothing like him. Yes. When you come to like him, doesn't mean he can't come to earth. How do you even make that connection? It doesn't because, make because once let me explain. Once you come into this creation, you become limited. Because you you get limited into its domain. Says who? Okay. Uh life on earth. Says, says who? Let, let me let me let me explain to you. Life right now, with no 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 added things to you. Can you jump three hundred feet in the air? Nope. Nope. Okay, why why not? Can, oh, so if God came to earth, could he jump 300 feet in there? I'm saying God God will never. No, if he came to earth, could he jump 300 he'll feet never. in He'll never. It's who, a, says he will, who, who, who says he'll never come to earth? Because God says in the Quran he, that he'll never, he'll never he, he's above this. It does not befit him. Do I, he's above, where, where does he say it doesn't befit him to come to earth in the Quran? Give me the verse. It, he doesn't, to come into the earth? Give me the verse where coming to earth doesn't befit his majesty. Okay. Give me the verse. No, no. I'll, I'll prove to you, I gave you the evidence that God, nothing is like him, nothing's unto him. Okay. How does, what, what, how, what, how does that, how does that, how does that say he can't come to earth and he won't ever come to earth because it doesn't uh, fit him? Cause, Just cause, because he says his creation is not like him does not mean well, unto he him. So that, that means he can never enter, he can never enter into his creation because once he enters into his creation, he becomes part of that creation. He becomes limited into that creation. This is just uh, logic. Bro, you're literally, you're literally making no sense. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. It's you who cannot follow the logic. Just because God said he's nothing like his creation, literally does not mean he cannot enter his own creation. Yes, Come if on. he enters his creation, then he becomes part of his creation. Don't you see that contradiction right there? What do you mean? If he enters his creation, he becomes part of his creation. Yes, if you enter Earth, you become part of Earth's uh, nature, the Earth's be being, meaning you, you become like it. Bro, he so limits you're, oh, you will so limit you're, yourself. You're, okay, so does it become part of his creation or does it become limited like his creation? What do you mean? You said he became limit limit limited and then now you're all now you're jumping into something else. He becomes part of his creation. Yes, well, obviously when God comes, enters obviously if he comes into earth, he's gonna be a part of the humans both. that are inhabiting earth. The so answer, what? The answer what does that both. have to do with anything? The, the, okay, the, okay, what does okay. that have to do with anything? The issue was limiting. How yes. is he limited because he comes into earth? Being a part of being a part of civilization doesn't mean he's limited. Yes, it You're, does. According to who? <laughs> pure logic. Pure logic. Is it according to God or is it according to your human logic? No, it's uh, one, human logic. Two, uh, uh, the Quran. It's contradictory. It's not. That doesn't, bro. 
You yeah. haven't even shown me a verse that says that if he comes to earth, he'll be limited. That's he's forced to become limited that, that, if he comes to that, earth. That comes who says that. It, that, that, that? Let, let me explain because that goes against p pure logic. How? Because God, God, God is something can, he cannot enter into something that is limited in its nature and its and its essence. Because he then There's he becomes who? limited. Says who? That's logic, man. Wait, you okay? He can't come into a limited creation, and if he comes into this limited creation, he will become limited. Yes. Says who? Okay, okay, okay. Life, can you give me an example of something that is unlimited or infinite and uh, and can exist in a, in, in a finite world? God. <laughs> you cannot use that. Give me something else. You said give you an example. I did. God. G God can't. So God never came to earth? No. So, you know, so, so all the passages in the Bible, those are just fake? Yes. According to who? I'm telling you, uh, logic, logical reasoning. Yes. You haven't given me a logical reason. You're just like saying yeah. God can't. It's contrary. Saying, saying God can't do something and saying it's contradictory doesn't just prove that listen, that's the point. Listen, listen. You so haven't I'm, given me any. You haven't I'm given me any real. So, you haven't so, given. So. You have, one second. You haven't given me any real adequate evidence as to why God can't do these things. The um, only thing that you've given me is a verse in the Quran that states he's nothing like his creation, yes. which being nothing like something doesn't mean that you can't do the things that they do. Because I have to explain it to you because you're not, seems like you're not understanding. When okay, God- let's go, back to the, let's go back to history. No, no, no. Let, let me, let me, no, because we were jumping yeah, topics. Let's, let's stick to this. Let's, let's stick to this. That's what I'm trying to explain. All right, to. we can stick to this, but you're not yeah. making no sense. God, God, who's an infinite being, right? Or, you know, quote unquote, infinite being, by, by, by whatever term you want, you how you ever want to define that as, cannot enter into something that is finite in itself. You keep saying the same thing, but you haven't proved it. You can't just tell me what God can't do without proving it. Does God ever say to you he can't do this? It's not that he can't do it. He can do whatever he wills, but he now, will not now, do now it. He can do, now he can do whatever he wants. Of course, God can do whatever he wants, but he will not do it. So God can come to earth without being limited. I, okay, okay. Uh, uh, life, life. Can God kill? Can God kill God? Life. Can God kill God? Or can God unalive God? God can come to Earth without being limited. Uh, uh, answer my question. Uh, can, can, uh, answer my question. Can God unalive God? You're answer. Asking it. Me, you're asking me an example that's nowhere near the same. Uh, answer it. Uh, answer, answer it, and then we'll move. We'll move on to something. You're asking, me, you're, you're asking me, you're answer. asking me, you're asking me, can God cease to exist? Can God unalive God? Bro, what's the are answer? You, are you going to answer? Are you going to answer directly? Yeah. Are you going to answer directly to the statements that you make and not give me examples that don't I'm, even correlate to I'm, what's I'm trying to, I'm trying to show you something. I'm trying to show you something. I know you what something. you're trying to do. You're trying to ask me an illogical I, question and then say, see, that's your answer. That's, that's your answer. No, no, because you just said God can come to earth. He can do whatever he wants. And then the moment I said, well, can he come to earth and not be limited? You turned around no. and asked me an illogical question. No, if he, that... are, if, if, if he eternally exists, right? How in the world can he die? That's the point I'm trying to show you. It's that's apparent. An, that's, it's, that's an illogical it's, question. It's, it's a, you know, it's, one it's, second, one second. That's an illogical question. Now you know what illogical and logical is Thank all you. of a sudden. But now when I ask you a logical question, when you said he can do all things, we know that means all things on the basis of what's logical. Yes. Right? Yes. So him entering so, creature is not logical. So you agree he can come down to earth, but it just doesn't befit his majesty. So I said, okay, no. so can he come down to earth? and not be limited and then you went off somewhere else so answer that, that question because that, now i answered yours yeah, so answer mine that, that's what i'm trying to get to just like how god cannot unalive uh, let me get, let me let me get to my point man just because god cannot just how god cannot unalive god because it's a logical fallacy right it's it's illogical to say such thing it's a paradox in reality uh it's like saying can god enter into uh creation it's illogical, right? Because God is beyond his creation. There's nothing like him or unto him. He, he, he will never enter into it, right? To say that God cannot enter, you're trying to put, put this like uh, uh, limitation on him. What? 
You're trying to say that because God cannot enter into his creation, then he must be limited. You're literally the only one saying what he can't do. Life. I'm telling you, I'm only telling you what God can't do because it's illogical to say he does. Just like how he's saying God can unalive God. That's illogical. It's not the same. You've already admitted he can come down to earth. No, 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 no. I, he, he cannot come down to earth. Bro, uh, come on, Ranch. You all over the place now, no, bro. Can he? No, so, so, he cannot, so, so when cannot, I said, when no, I, no. wait, wait, wait. When I said that you said he can't come down to earth, he can't enter his creation, you said he can do whatever he wants, but it just doesn't befit no, his no, majesty. No, no, no. It doesn't befit him. Because now, I'm trying, all of a sudden, cause, cause, you flip I'm now. trying to, because okay. I'm trying to. No, 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 no. I, I'm can, trying to. No, no, Ranch, Ranch. Can he come to earth? No. Yes or no? No. All right. If he wanted to, can he do that? If he wanted to, it's an illogical question. It's an illogical question. I don't get I, I don't get what you're so confused about. It's not an illogical question. Yes, it is. Because if, no, no, because if you say no, then that means he can't come to earth. It's illogical because so I'm trying to. He wanted no. If he wanted to come to Earth, can he? It's a yes or no question. It's not illogical. That's I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. It's illogical because you're taking something infinite and trying to make it finite. It's illogical. You're presupposing that he would become finite just by simply entering his creation. Because everything that is in this creation is finite. Only God by is... his by his will. Duh. No, nothing. So you mean to tell me? So you mean to tell me that you don't understand why the earth is earthing the way that it's earthing because of God? The reason why things are taking place in this earth is because of Him. So you're telling me if He enters in something He created. He has no control over what takes place on what he created and made happen. Are you serious? He becomes part of it. Okay. Is he bound by it? If he enters into it, he becomes bound by it. Yes. Okay. So he has, okay. So he's not powerful enough to stop what happens to us humans and happening to him on earth. Are you serious? So if he comes to earth, wait, wait. So if he comes to earth, he has to breathe air to survive. Well, that, that's what you believe. Yes. When Jesus came to earth, he was breathing air. He came, he came out of a woman. He, he lived, he lived as a human and he was God. So he did do that. Okay. So he has to, <laughs> abide, okay. So he has to abide by the laws of gravity. Too, yeah. Right? Your, your God did that. Yes. Wait, wait, your wait, God. wait, wait, wait. He has to abide by the laws of gravity too, right? He, he did. Yes, he did. He, that's what he did. Okay. Then why did he walk on water? That's a miracle by God. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to get out of my car, man. <laughs> Bro. I'm trying to explain to you. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to explain it to you, brother. That you, 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 and your what you're trying to think is that. I'm, 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 I'm Listen giving, to what? No, I, no. I'm giving you. No, I'm giving no, you. No, no, wait, wait, no, no. Wait, I'm giving you. Listen, you a, that, 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 Rance, Rance, um, listen to what you just said. If he comes to Earth, he has to abide by the laws of gravity, yes. meaning me, you, and all of the other humans cannot walk on water because of the laws of gravity you, you, but when god that, comes to earth wait but when god comes to earth and walks on water defying the laws of gravity I'm, I'm it's hitting. a miracle I'm, I'm, aka he's defying the laws of gravity meaning he does not have to abide by the laws of gravity because he can just say i am not going to drown when i step okay. on this water okay okay life life so if somebody oh, does, so if, 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 if somebody, wait, 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 life. So if, somebody does, if somebody, if somebody does, so wait, 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 wait. Rich, Rich, hold on, Rich, because oh, I don't think you, I don't think you got what, what just happened here. Yeah. Let me ask you again. Okay. Does God have to abide by the laws of gravity when he comes to earth? Uh, I'll answer your question. So if somebody or something does something that is beyond the normal bounds of a human, he becomes part God. Bro, we're talking about God doing it. No, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to explain to you. I'm trying to explain it to you. I'm not talking about other people doing it because God is helping okay. them do it. Oh, I'm saying, oh, oh, 
So that was we're, different. We're not so, talking so, about. So when Moses split the sea, when when Moses split the sea, it was God that was doing it. It was so so, so God. So Moses is God now. <laughs> you're, literally, you're literally proving that God has the that you literally proving that God <laughs> has the power to literally remove the bounds of what we believe is illogical for a human to do on the basis of a miraculous thing taking place. You're literally proving yes. my point. Yes. The point is if, if God can make a human do it, yes. then what makes you think God can't do it himself when he's on earth? Oh my God, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. When God comes down to earth, he becomes limited, okay? He becomes limited. He becomes limited. You haven't even the... proven that. You haven't proved it. Prove it. I just proved it to you. I'm proving it to you using logical reasoning. Can God? Oh, no, like, let's, go back. let's go back. Let's go back no, to the no, history. No. Can God? No, 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 no. Because no, no, you're running away. You're running you, away. No, you ran. You ran for me. Listen. No, you ran this with no, the no, 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 no. Listen, listen. You, you ran for me. You ran for me. Listen. No, you ran away. No, I answered all of your questions. You no, just ran no, for me, no, Ranch. No, listen. Away. No, Ranch. Listen. Let's watch, watch this. Watch this. Listen. Watch this. We are not talking about what you presuppose. Throw that out of your mind right now. We went to our scriptures. Jesus walked on water. We believe yes. Jesus is God, okay. right? Okay, Moses put the sea. Is he also God? Why do you keep running from me? Answer the question. Why are you Ranch, stop running away from me. We all answer the question. About answer the question. Is dude, Moses God? Because he's dude. doing something that's beyond the human bounds. Dude, we are talking about God. God on earth. I'm telling you, well, Moses is God on earth too, because he did a no, miracle. He did a miracle too. You're, 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 you're running so hard. Bro. No, you're, you're running. running so, you're running so. You're, you're running a. You're, you're running. Fight. You're running a 5K right now, bro. No, no, you're. you're no, no, you're, you're doing a triathlon. You're no, you're, you're doing a triathlon. You're, you're, you're biking, you're swimming, and you're running away all at the same Rance, time. Rance, you're purposefully misunderstanding the conversation. No, you're literally. Not, you're you're always misunderstanding it because you're trying to. Well, you're trying to use an example to track yourself in the foot. You said because Jesus walked on water. That must who do we believe Jesus is? Who, wait, who do we believe Jesus is? You believe that he's God. Thank you. So let's talk about God, not Moses. I'm, I'm, I'm using your logic. You said because okay. Jesus walked so use my logic when we're talking about God. Not I am. People, I not am. Other, I'm trying to explain it no, to no, you. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, Ranch. Not other people that God are, 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 are performing miracles through. We're not okay. talking about that. We're talking because, because I'm listen. using an example to shoot yourself in the foot. Just because somebody does something that You're is running. Running human bound does You're not running. make him God. You're running. You're running. You're, You're running. running. No, 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 no. You're running. You're running faster God. than Usain Bolt, man. You're running faster than him. You're Still running. Down. You're running because you, you're all of your examples are are removing God from no. being in creation. You're running. You're because you try to provide an example of of somebody doing something that is beyond the normal bounds. Jesus walking on water, oh, you right? So and you try to equate this right. to him being God. Then I provided right. you an example. Right. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm not even. Yes. I'm not even. I'm not even equating anybody or anything to That's being God. It's God. About? What are you talking about? Is God logic? <laughs> no, your God is not logical. Mm. Listen, God is not logical. Sorry to tell you that. Mm. Yeah, I love anything. I love anything. Hey, play that for me real quick, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not equating anything in connection to trying to prove somebody is God. I know you guys salivate over those conversations, you did, but, you but shot that's yourself. not that is not what we're, what I'm talking about right now. You made a claim, and I'm asking you to prove it. And so I'm asking you, does God have to fall within the lines, or is he bound by the laws of gravity as we know it? If we were to just go out and walk on water without any uh, interaction or intervention from God, we would fall right into the water, right? Hey, listen, anybody. No, Rance, Rance, no, 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 yes. no, Rance, right? Yes, okay, yes. Thank you. So now, in our scriptures, God on earth, who was Jesus, walked on water and literally went outside of the bounds of gravity and did not fall through the water. Yes. So yes. is God bound by the laws of gravity? Okay. Are you done? It's a yes or no. Uh, are, are you done? 
It's a yes or no. I'm not going to answer it the way you want to answer. I'll answer it the way I want to answer it. I understand that. You've done that this entire time. No. It's a yes or no. I'm trying to explain it to you. God, if he enters into this world, you become limited to this world. Prove like, it. Let me, now let me prove, prove it. You I'll haven't prove it. proven it yet. I, I'll, I'll, I'll prove it. I'll prove it to you. Okay? Okay, go. Prove okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Did Jesus, when he was born into this world, came out of a, came out of a woman? Yes. Did Jesus have to eat and drink like everybody else? Yes. Did he have to use the bathroom like everybody else? Yes. Did As Jesus walk on water? Yes, he did. Want to know was why? God? Was Jesus no. God? Okay, Moses put the sea. Was he God? There you go, running again. Was, was Moses? I'm trying there to you go. You. Running again. You're using <laughs> our, wait, wait, wait. You're using my scriptures to ask me about what God did to try to prove your point. And then I'm literally showing you what God did from my scriptures and you run away immediately. I'm using your own you, scriptures against you. And, and, you just, and you just ran from it. Is that same uh, Jesus, wait, did that same Jesus that you're talking about defy the laws of gravity? I'm trying to explain it to you. I'm oh trying to, God. just because Jesus, because this, this is the false equivocation you're trying to do. Just because Jesus walked on water does not mean he's God. It does not mean he's God. Because you then Moses used, would be God. Dude, you just used Jesus as we know it as God and tried to prove your point Je on the basis of how he came to earth. But I'm trying to explain to you that Jesus and his, the other remaining 95% or my bad, 99% of his life was human bound, except for these a few miracles that he's done that goes beyond the nature of humans. That was done because of God, not so, because so, of himself. So, so no, 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 no. God does what he wants to do, right? So what I'm saying is, is now you're running. You're saying, hey, look, look at all these other things God had to do in your scriptures. Yes, but then yes. also God didn't have to be bound by the laws of gravity as we see in scriptures. You're not acknowledging that. Okay, okay, okay. Did God I'll, I'll, I'll explain did it to you. God defy the I'll, I'll explain it to you in a, in a very God, simple way. Wait, wait, wait. Did God me a, give me an example of somebody who, 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 who who's on earth and he was not limited by any laws of, of earth. Provide it to me. God. God? Okay. God. Who, who's God? Which God? Jesus. Jesus? The same one you just quoted. Oh, okay. So, 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 so Jesus did not come out of a vagina of a woman? What does that have to do with him being bound by the laws yeah, of God? Yeah, what even himself. Even, even what God himself had to, to come. What does that have to come out of a vagina of a woman? What does that have to do with him being why limited? Did he do that? How why does did he that do? make him limited? Yes, it does. He himself came to this existence by um, using the vagina of a woman when he could have just boom appeared. Rats, rats, listen to what you're saying. You're saying that because God did specific things in a certain way, he had to do it in that way in order for him to even come into earth, which even in the same scriptures you're quoting, God has been to earth multiple times before that without having to do it that way. So he no. does things in a way that we will understand prior to scripture, no, no. in scripture, so we can have a no, better no, no. understanding of what's no, no. taking place. Now the problem that he never you needed, have, he never needed to come out of a woman. Have, he never, the problem, no, no, no. The problem that, that you have is you're running to my scriptures, knowing that in my your, scriptures, your scriptures are garbage God anyways. I don't need them, they're contradictory. No, Ranch, you're scared of my scriptures while at the same no, time trying no, no. to use them. Uh, of yeah, course, in the same in the of same course, scriptures, scared of falsehood. In the same scriptures in the same scriptures that I'm using, I'm showing you that he is not bound by the laws of gravity, mm -hmm. meaning he is not limited like we are on Earth because Whoa. we are actually human and he is you're God. Right. You're you trying to you, you, you're trying to equate miracles with divinity. That's your problem. They're Ooh. not. He's, it's not. These are done by the will of God. Just because he did it does not make him God. Just like how God. Moses, when he split the sea, did not uh, make you're him all God. Over the place. You're all over the place, bro. You it's are. You're lost. About... You're lost. Rant. You shot no, yourself rant. in the foot. You now, gotta meet you. now I gotta meet you, man. Now I gotta meet you. Are we talking about? G are we talking about God? Are we talking about Jesus as God as we know it in the scriptures, or are you trying to prove Jesus is not God? Because you're all over the place. You're mm -hmm. using my scriptures to show me God was limited. Look at how he came into earth. Oh, okay, so now you're talking about how Jesus is God. But then as soon as I show you that Jesus defied the laws of gravity, now all of a sudden, well, that doesn't make him God. What in the hell are you talking about? This, this is what I'm trying to explain to you, okay? That when God enters into this realm, okay, 
he will become bound to the limitations of this world. Okay. okay. Then why did he walk on water? Let me let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let no. Me, then why did he walk on water? Let, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. No. No. Then why did he walk on water if he had to be bound by the laws of this world? Why did he walk on water? Can can, can I explain to you? Can you stop? Now explain. explain that specifically. Let, why let did God walk on water then? If he was so limited, right, and bound to the laws of this world, how did he walk on water? How did that happen? I'm trying to explain it to you. Okay, because Jesus was not God. He was a prophet of God. And this was done by a miracle by God. Okay. So why are you trying to use Jesus as God as an example to show me that God is limited when he comes on earth? I never used Jesus' example. You use Jesus oh as an example. Let's go back. Let's go back to history. Let's go back to history, bro. You're all you're all over. No, 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 no. Stop running away. No, 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 no. Don't 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 run away. Don't run away. Whoa. You've been running no time. No, no, no. Whoa, that's crazy. You try to use Jesus as an example of being God walking on water and doing so. But Jesus himself was not a God. This is why I'm trying to explain it to you. He was not a God. He was done a miracle. Just like Moses was not a God because he split the sea. He so, was so, so well, God. Moses didn't split the sea. The Bible doesn't say that. It says God did it. But it, my, my, it. My, yes, my question, God. Ranch, my question, it's Ranch, to you God would be, world. so you're saying that God can empower prophets yes. to defy the laws of this world, yes. but God couldn't do it himself if he was here? Because he become, yep. become limited to this world as well. Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm confused. Uh, just say that one more time. So God can God can allow prophets to surpass the laws of this world. But if he was here, he would be limited to the laws of this world. Yes, because when God enabled these prophets of God to do so, he was not bound to the limitations of this world. But if you wait, wait, wait. So I, I'm confused, though. Were the prophets when they were here on Earth, were they bound to the limitations of this world? Yes. So how was God able to allow the prophets who were bound to, to the limits of this world to not be bound to the limits of this world anymore? Because he was not bound to it. Do you understand? God I, no, not, no, I don't. I don't okay. understand. I, I, I know. I know. I, I'll explain it to you. Okay. Because God did not exist into this realm, which would have limited him. He's a, he exists in a... He exists but the prophets in a, did. Huh? The prophets lived in this realm, which are who are limited. That's why. That's why. That's why. If you look at their lives, ninety nine point nine percent of their lives were all limited by by the, by by the, it's the limitations of this world. <laughs> but because of an external, what? Yes, <laughs> bro, prophets, bro, yes, what? Yes, prophets of God are, are limited by this world. <laughs> the, the only times, let me finish. The only. Times, oh my goodness. The only times. The only times where they were not limited by this uh, the realm of this world mm. is when God, who is an external being to this universe or this realm that we live in or whatever you want to call it into uh -huh. this universe since he's external he can influence it but if god enters into that, it that makes no, no sense yes what, that makes so, perfect okay. sense okay i got you so yeah. when allah appeared to the mountain was he on earth no he was not where, physically here where was he god is god god was is uh he's not located into a into a position so when it says that he appeared to the mountain where did he appear he showed he showed his might to it he showed his, his no it doesn't uh, say he showed it doesn't say he showed his might it yes. says that the lord his lord appeared to the mountain yes so when yes. allah himself appeared to the mountain where was he okay let me explain to you <laughs> when god says he appears or, or he speaks in a certain way it does not mean that he himself i didn't allah ask appeared. about speaking i asked yes. about him appearing bro <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm explaining it to you I'm trying to give you references to the Quran. Don't no, give me any references to anything other than what I asked about, please. I'm, I'm explaining to you. He didn't, when he says he appeared, it doesn't mean he physically appeared. It doesn't mean he had his own so, conversation, what, what, man. Yeah, right. What does appear mean? Appear? I'm yeah. telling you. He yep. appeared. Okay, mm. I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. No, no, just what does appear mean? When, what, what does the word appear mean? I'm trying to explain it to you. All right, go ahead. I'm trying to explain to you. These are, you're referring to linguistical uh, 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 um, devices. You okay, bro? I'm trying to explain. No, no. For example, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran. And, let me finish. For example, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says in the Quran, and everywhere you turn, you'll see the face of God. Okay. Okay. Huh? Wait, say that again. In, in the Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, and everywhere you turn, you'll see the face of God. Where does it say that? I'll, I'll show it to you. Okay.
this dude can't even stay on stay on one point, man. He's got to give examples off the point every time. <laughs> what does it mean when Allah appears? See, when Allah speaks, it uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, it's crazy. What does it appear? Like, there's another Muslim down there, man. This dude need help, man. <laughs> Muslims only request up, please. I love how he ran away from history too, man. But it's all good. It's all good. Chapter chapter two, verse one fifteen. All right, what's it say exactly? Uh, I, I I don't know. If, I can't. Sh- what's it called? I don't have the Quran next to me. It's I have to go through my phone. If I Sorry. Screen, if I switch screens, if I switch. Life is about to pull it up. We're about to see. Okay. <clears throat> so you didn't you didn't uh, get a chance to like read it really quick. No, I, I read it, but like I can't quote everything because I would have to keep switching screens. I got you. I got you. No worries. You pulling it up, life? Yeah. Chapter two, verse one fifteen. He said. Two one fifteen. Ranch, are you Sunni Muslim? No, I'm Shia. Oh, okay. That kind of explains a little bit. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, like... <laughs> <laughs> try, to, try to pull it up on your end. My uh, hotspot is not working. All right. It's my Wi Fi on. I, I I can read it for you guys if you guys want. Like I, yeah, I'll just like to switch the screens. Man, you be add, you be adding words in there that ain't there, man. It's up to you. You that's what I'm saying. I want you to read it yourself. Yeah, I got it. I I, I got my uh. Let me let me connect the hotspot. Yeah, it's, it says to it says uh. It says unto Allah belongs the east and the west, and everywhere you turn. Uh, there is his ca- countenance. It says the face of Allah. Stop, stop trying to change the word. Do I, you, you, want me, t- you want me to screenshot it to which, show you which, what I'm reading? Which, which, trans- which, which translation do you use? No, you, I can switch it up and see which, uh, what all of them say. You said 2-2-15? Two, 2-1-15. Two 2-1-15. Two two the word in Arabic, it says Wajuh Allah. Wajuh means faces of Allah. Face. What you means face? Face. What you means face. Okay. Wajoo Allahu. About to teach me Arabic ranch? Yes, sir. You're welcome anytime, brother. Yeah. All right. Transliteration. Okay, yeah, I just checked the transliteration. You're right, Ranch. It says face. What? What you said? What Jude, right? Yes, what you? Yes, means yeah, face. Means face. Yep. Yes. Good now, stuff. So, what's what you about to explain with this? Yes. So, ask any if you ask anybody what is a face, right? They'll tell you it's uh, depending on what creature you're referring to would have a physical face to it. But in the Quran, Allah obviously Allah Subhanahu does not have a face. Okay, it's a metaphorical term. Okay. I, yeah. Meaning that everywhere, everywhere you turn, you'll see the face of Allah. Meaning you'll see God's authority, God's power. For, for example, if you look into a tree, or at a tree, not into a tree, if you look at a tree, you'll see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created that tree. Because yeah, so, so this, is, this is my thing, because I believe that content, context is what determines how a word is used. Yes, so yes. just because, um, like, so, like the context shows that the word, the face of Allah is being used 
metaphorically here. It could be understood metaphorically. You know, here, that, that's the proof, as the proof of God, right? Everywhere you yeah. look, that's yeah. the proof of God. Exactly. So, no, that, that, that's the sky, the water, the beach, the earth. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to explain to you, okay? So how does that prove your point? It doesn't prove but, but, your point. It, it, it doesn't help you I, with I'll the, explain to you. I, it just, really, you. just really quick, Ranch. It doesn't help you with the context of Allah appearing to the mountain and causing it to crumble. That's, that's what I'm trying to show to you. When God says, he says, when I, I, and I appear, or no, he doesn't say I appeared. And when we appeared to, onto the mountain, right? And mm -hmm. then the mountain crumbled. The word, that's what I'm saying. If you check, if you take the literal word mm -hmm. and try to use that as his definition and try to apply it, yes, you'll come to the conclusion that God physically appeared into his creation and such thing. No, mm -hmm. that, that, that's not what we believe. Well, at least well, what the Shias believe. What we yeah, believe, don't, yeah, don't say we because some, yeah, some, some believe yeah. this. You know, yes, yeah, some people who are misguided believe that actually God, God uh, entered into his creation, which mm -hmm. obviously would make a, a logical contradiction. Uh, I don't think so. I, you I haven't I, even proved that. You just proven that. Let, let me let me let me continue. Let me address it. So when God says He appeared, right? He's He's referring to His power. When He showed His power upon the mountain, the mountain crumbled. Okay. It doesn't say that. That's what I'm trying to explain. This is the, the meaning of the verse. Yeah, but that's see that's see. Look, ranch. Notice how you you see how reasonable I am, right? Yeah. When you when you brought up chapter two verse one fifteen, I saw clearly that through the context, yes, it's it's figuratively talking about Allah's face, talking about His works yeah. and His His no, power. No, 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 no. Here, there's, there's here it's talking. About, it does. There's nowhere in the context where anything is happening that's figurative because it's saying that there's an actual event that happened no, no. that and caused here. the mountain to crumble and Moses to faint, which was Allah's appearance. No, no. So let me explain to you. Uh, in that verse that I showed you about the you know the faces, right? There is nothing in the translation that tells you that it's 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 referring to a metaphor metaphorical thing. Yeah, the context right? tells you. No, look, even the context doesn't tell you. It just says. Yeah, it does. If, no, if you look to the east and west, you will see the face of God. Okay. Well, well, the, well no. First, first it said when you look into the east and west, you see His works. Basically, that's what it yeah, said. Yeah. So, and then it says. When you turn with or you see the face of, of Allah. No, no. It says to the east and west belongs to him. Right, yeah. Belongs it, to him. It belongs to him. Mm -hmm. And everywhere you turn, you'll see you'll see his face. Okay? Yeah. That, but if you're somebody who's gonna take a literal as it is meaning, we'll say, Yeah, okay, yeah, this is the face of God. God God is, is, is God is part of everything. Everything is part of God. I don't I don't, I think that, that would be if, if a person people, if a person's people, doing that, brother, listen. If a brother, if somebody is trying to is is putting that meaning to the to the Quran in that verse, I would say that they're blatantly misrepresenting the context of it. The, con the context is clear to me. I mean, it's clear to life too. We, we're we're Christians. We have, and, and you know we don't we don't like the Quran, you know. But we can see when context is be how context is being used. We we can we can acknowledge that. There are some people that believe that God is everywhere physically. No, okay. Muslims don't believe that, right? No, no, no I'm there's some people that do believe this that God is everywhere like Hindus type stuff yeah there's Hindus that believe this stuff there's some maybe some offshoots of Islam maybe some offshoots of Christianity or Jewish that believe this nonsense okay there, there might be offshoots that do ain't no it. Christians believe that God is 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 everything or everywhere like and then what he's saying too is the face well, like okay you, so, you, well, I, so I you're, you're, wait, but, but Ranch you're saying people believe that when they read that verse they're talking about somebody like everywhere they turn they literally see Allah's face. Yes, meaning like uh, the because because all of this is part of His creation, which means it's all part of His nature. Essentially, is what they believe. I haven't I haven't met any Muslim that. that yeah, took hey, but, but that's what I'm trying. If you take this, these are this is more Quranist people that believe this. Because, I mean, no, it's not. It's not even Quranist. The Quranists yes, don't even believe no, this. No, bro. no, no, Quranist, Quranist, Quranist well, Quranist and and uh, uh, Salafis. Believe in in, in uh, God as as capable, not God capable. God it does enter into His creation. Okay, they believe that. Mm. Okay, we as uh, which uh, the other ninety, uh, the the others, I say eighty to ninety percent of Sunnis in the world who do not believe, who are not Salafis, that don't believe in this, they don't believe God entering into His creation. Mm. And, that, and and all of Shia do not believe God enters into His creation. That doesn't mean he. That doesn't mean he can't. Though you're saying you don't believe he can, but you haven't shown proof that he. Has yeah, the the, the Quran the Quran tends to show that what y'all's belief is doesn't match with what the Quran says, man. How so? Again, from the context of seven one forty three, it's from the context Allah did appear in creation. Ooh, it cut me off. But that's what I'm trying to explain to you. When God says He appeared, it's a metaphorical term. He He's referring to His. 
You don't have any context to, to support that, bro. Yes, I have hadith that provide this evidence. Wait, you you have hadith that provide it? I also, I also have hadith it. that provide my evidence. No, no, that's you're using. You're gonna be using a Sunni hadith that. that provides okay, it. you're gonna see, see see you see how I I could do the same I, thing you do. But, but no, no, but that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to explain to you. I'm giving you my belief, what, what I believe. Okay. Okay. So I I, 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 I cannot I, I cannot right. like you obviously you guys are Trinitarians, correct? Yeah. So I, if I'm gonna argue against you. I'm not going to use uh, Unitarian beliefs against you. Yeah, but at the same time, you're trying to hold a view, right, on the Quran. You're saying that your hadiths back up what you believe, right, F coming from Shia interpretation. Yes. Yes. So I'm yes. saying, okay, I can also use hadith that can back up my interpretation from that Shia. I that I wouldn't agree with, or I'm sorry, that you wouldn't agree with, which would be Sunni. Um, hadith. I, I would agree. I'm just trying to. So I'm not. I'm. I'm actually okay. suggesting okay. Okay. Now, that we don't. Now, that we don't go to. Right. Hold on, bro. You can't just come up talking, man. First. You can't just come up <laughs> talking, man. That's not how this works. So, Ranch, what I'm saying is, I, I think that it would be best if we just stick to the, what the Quran is saying in its context and try to, you okay. know. This, 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 I'm saying, this is this is problematic, okay? Because the Quran, when it when it talks in these, for example, for example, when God says in the Quran. And, and we created the heavens and the earth, okay? If you take the Quran as it is by itself, somebody's going to try to imply, anybody who does not know the Arabic language, will try to imply. Can you hear anybody? This will Yo, first Robert, be, you got to chill. Chill for a second. This will, this will yes. imply that, uh, that there, there's somebody alongside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was creating, okay? That, that's co that's co-eternal with him, okay? But this goes. Say that, say that one more time. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Can you hear me, Can you hear me guys? Yeah, hold on, bro. You gotta. Can okay. you hear us? Cause Ranch was talking, man. Yeah, I had a Bluetooth adapter connected. Okay, so. no worries. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you just fine. Go ahead, Ranch. Say say that one more time again. Right before you said, there's two things, uncreated things, or something like that. Yeah. For example, when God says in the Quran, "And we created the heavens and the earth." Okay. There's if you were to take it as as it is as face value, you would assume that there is somebody or something that is co-eternal with God that is creating. Okay. okay. And what's uh? This is this is what, this is a this is how, a this is yeah. contra this is contradictory to Islamic belief, right? In mm. that in that there is nothing co-eternal with God that creates. Everything yeah. is dependent upon God that to, to create. Right. Okay. Right. So I understand that, but how would how would you then go to show like if someone took that understanding that when Allah says we, there yeah. there's actually a plurality of persons there. How yes. would you show them? from the quran that that's not the case that allah is only one person we will use because okay when god sent the quran he did not send the quran by itself he sent us a prophet who who, pro, who proclaimed this message to us and he gave us the sunnah of 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 of, uh, of him okay, okay. In this, so these hadith that, that we're referencing they are his teachings which is are, are are to be held on the same on the same level as the quran Okay, so so would you say then that I guess in this area the Quran would be unclear on whether or not Allah is multi-personal or if he's a singular personal deity? You would say that the Quran it, it could be ambiguous about this, and so therefore Muhammad's teachings kind of fill in those holes. No, because when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent the Quran, He sent it as a as a as a uh, um, he sent them together, all right. One no, with the didn't. other. Yes, yes, he did. He he sent one with the other. He gave us the Quran and the the Sunnah of the Prophet. Mm. One with the other. So one does not one. You cannot take one and leave the other. And this is this is a view by all Muslims. Okay, anybody that takes the Quran without taking Hadith, or which meaning the Sunnah of the Prophet, is out of the fold of Islam. He's not part of Islam. Really? Yes. Okay. Anybody anybody that denies that denies the hadith of the prophet sallallahu mm -hmm. alaihi wasallam right then you're out of the fold of islam okay i can respect that yeah. so so still going with my that question was, that was such a problematic statement but we're gonna let that slide <laughs> how's it problematic well it's it's it, it is it, it is it's a fun little trail to go through but just i just want to just get this really quick Ranch. So we'll do that later, Ranch. Yeah, yeah. We'll 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 unfold that envelope. Uh, can I just say something very quick? Because I I need to get back to work. Just one one second, brother. One second. Okay. So so Ranch. Um, so I hear what you're saying, right? But that still doesn't 
I guess, exactly deal with what I asked. Like I, you, you explain how the Sunnah and the Quran come together. I hear that. My question is the Quran alone, when it comes to the issue of whether Allah is mul a multi-personal deity or if he's a singular person, no deity. No, no, the Quran is clear. Okay, so how would you, so if people were to take these phrases in the Quran, a lot of places where Allah is speaking in the plural, right? How would you show from the Quran that no, that well, Allah is only a singular personal deity? Okay. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say Allah is one. Okay, that talks to his singularity. There no, it doesn't. Deity. Yes, yes, it does. When he says, uh, let me, when, he talks, when he says, he, he says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad, he is one. This is singularity. Not, not plural, not, 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 not uh, 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 one what? No, no, what? He's, no, what? he's but, one what? God. Well, see, it's not even clear in that verse what one he is. Yes, it, it is. is. So, so, so for example, Allah, here, yes, it says, it says, uh, Allah, is, it says, Qul huwa Allah. say uh -huh. Allah, Allah is what? One of. No, no. What, what is Allah? What is Allah? He's one of. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I, I had. So, like, for example, he uses the same word. What does the word Allah mean? No, no, not, not just Allah. Well, Allah just means God, right? But no, no, no. no. Allah, if you're. The, it, it means the one God. No, it doesn't. What? what? Yes, the, yes. Word, the word one is not in Allah, dude. It's, it's, it's referring to, it's the, Allah is a specific name referring to the one God. Okay. So you could say, you could say that you're, so you could put your theological spin on it saying it's referring to the one God, but the word Allah itself does not mean the one God. So what, the word the word word word? so what does the word Allah mean? You, you said God. This means God, bro. That's it. No, no, no. The, the word God is ilaha. Ilah. What is al? At the. And what is la? Il, ilah means God. The no, no, God. No, no, no. What is la? La? Yeah, because it's all and la. What, so all is the. Allah. What is... Allah, when you put it together, the, the lamb, I believe it's a, uh, the way it's written, it's, it's a. Um... No, no, what is la? La means no. La ilaha. La, la means no. It means no. No God, but so the no. Allah. No, no. Well, it no, no. Because it, it, the word is al la. So if la is no, al is the. You're al, saying al, the no. Allah al, is one word. La is another. No, al, no. no that's al, what I'm saying. Al, al, al. So you put those together. It's al is the no. It, it, no, it's no, it's no, like God. Two it's, separate words. It's okay, so let's so let's so instead of focusing on so much on this guys, the word ahed, you're saying that the word ahed is one, but no, that's but here, here's here's one thing that life pointed out. When it says Allah is Allah, you're right, ahed. It doesn't say what he's one of exactly. One what? Yes, what I'm trying to explain. It doesn't. The word Allah means one. It means the God. It's referring to. It's referring to what lordship. No, it's not. Allah, what about Allah uh, what about creator, Ahed? Not God. That, that, you're not, you're God not means the creator, brother. Where'd you get that from? It's the creator. Allah uh -oh. means the creator. No, it not doesn't. When, when, where are you bringing this crap from? Get your popcorn. <laughs> where did this guy get this from? <laughs> but, Allah, Allah, like I explained to you, Al means the. Man, where Allah. my fish? Where my fish tacos at? <laughs> Listen, he's a, he's a Muslim Shia, and I'm a Muslim Sunni. We will never. Agree. This has know? nothing to do with the Shia or this, this is basic Arabic grammar. Correct. It's a creator. If you check, go check. Go check. No, okay, okay. Allah means the creator. It doesn't. It, it doesn't translate to God. <laughs> the creator. This not guy's not, this guy is not a Muslim, or he's very poor in Arabic. Mm -hmm. Talk fear, huh? <laughs> he's he's either not a Muslim, right? And you're just trying to troll here. Yeah, I'm. Or, I, I don't have or, a good or, English. Or, or, yeah, or, yeah. Or, I don't speak good English. I've oh, been no, in, no, in the United no. States or, for 20 years. Or, I don't speak good English. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. I'm saying he's either not a Muslim, he's just here to troll us, or two, he, yeah, he yeah. is a Muslim, but his Arabic is not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Arabic and my English is not good either. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I do. So, what like? Listen, hey, hey, so hey, so hey, I just hey, have hey, one word hey, before hey, I exit. Hey, just, hey, just, hey, just a hey, second, hey, just a second, just a second. Listen, my friend. Uh, there is a, a surah, it's called Surat Al-Hajar. Uh, it's it's uh, 15 minutes, when you get a chance, uh, listen to it. Uh, uh, just type it in English. Surat Al-Hajar. Uh, you're talking about the Quran, 
and uh, does the Quran has issues? We'll read that verse and you will understand. It's called Surat Al Hajar. Okay. Jazakallah khairan. So, what is the what is the word? What does this word mean? Al Khaliq. What does that mean? That's for you, Ghazal. What that mean? Non Muslim? What does Al, -Al Khaliq mean? Ali? You call him a you call him a, a gazelle. What does that mean? His name is is uh, his Gaza, name. Gaza, Gaza. Uh, Oh, it's Gaza. Oh, my bad. Gaza. That looks like an Gaza. Is, is Gaza is is Gaza a Muslim ranch? Yeah, Gaza is Muslim? Muslims. Hey, uh, and Muslims actually, Muslims, Muslims and, and Christians. Christians. In Gaza, there is Muslims and Christians. Yeah. Not just uh, 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 Gaza. Uh, Al Khaliq. What does that mean? Al Khaliq. Yeah. In English, English, what's the translation? What does that mean? The creator. The creator, okay. So how does Allah mean the creator? Uh, Allah God غير عن الله يعني ما ما تقول ليش قادو الله نفس هذا هذا ترجم ترجمة غلط على فكرة إيه بضبط وأنا أنا جيتك على هاي النقطة الترجمة غلط فالله سبحانه وتعالى هو الخالق الرازق الرحيم الكريم كلهن طب تمام ما هو بس هم هم ما يقولون هيك شيء هم هم المشكلة مشكلة English man I don't know I'm trying to explain to him he agrees he agrees that that he he agrees what I'm saying right uh, so, does he, say, so does he agree that? So does he agree with the claim that you're making? Right, you're saying Allah's one, but it's not specifically defined. Right. No, no. He, so, he, so, 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 hero Israel, your Lord, the Lord your God is one, is in our scriptures. Yeah. But you already understand what we mean when we mean by one. Listen, God. I don't believe in the divine na nature of of Jesus. I believe also the same thing that he's a messenger of God. Yes. He's the the that's fine. He, but the, God that's created fine, but him. Point, let, let, one let, second, let me, that's fine. But the point is, is that one God needs to be defined. God, God, God I'm, created I'm, him. I'm, 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 just a second. God yeah. created him and put him in the womb. Your one God statement hasn't been defined. We can define our one. We can define our one God statement. You guys can't. You just said one. And when we're saying, what does that mean? You, I'm you, defining you, it to you. Starting to waffle off about no, 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 no. Because I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you both. What he means. When usually when somebody refers to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, it refers to all of the attributes of God, right? Him being the Creator, the the, the giver of sustenance, all of those things. So if you say Allah, he can be. You can also mean he's the Creator. But in this verse, uh, this is talking about in a more theological point. But in this verse, when it says it says Ulhu Allah. Allah, if you break it down into the Arabic thing, uh, into the Arabic, uh, um, you know, what, I forgot the term. If you break down the word Allah, it refers to Al, which means the, la ilah, which means God, the God. It's referring to Lordship here. And it says, Qul huwa Allah hu ahad. Ahad, who, you say Allah, referring to Lordship, that he's one. One okay? of. Lordship, Allah means God. It doesn't have nothing to do with Lordship. Of. The word Hello. ahed. What is what is ahed? Uh, ahed means one. One what? And that's what I'm telling you. If you read the word before the word before ahed, what is that? He's one what? It's just talking about who, that God is one what? I, I'm explaining to you the word Allah. Allah, it means the God. It's referring to Lord. Jesus. Yeah. So the God is one what? Oh my God, brother! It's it's telling you say or recite. That mm -hmm. the the God is one. One what? He is, <laughs> it's telling you about lordship. The topic is lordship. No, it's what? not. <laughs> hey man, you need to change your name. You're not God logic, bro. You're God illogical. That's what you are. Uh, you got me. <laughs> Good one. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm telling you right in the context of the verse. It's I'm talking to the You're not you're not you're not able to answer the question. I with answered this. it. So when it says that, say the God is one. 
Yeah. He is one him. what? Is he one person? Is he one God? Is he one star? One, one milk God, one shake? God. He's one the God. God. Okay, it, okay. Doesn't, it doesn't let say me, one let me, God, let me, though. Let me explain. It says Allah. The, the word Allah is, is broken down into two. Okay. It's, Go read. Go ask any person who speaks. But, Arabic I, but, I, but I'm with you. I'm with you. If you're saying if you're saying one God, I'll go with you. Yeah, so yeah. if it's one God, that no, still doesn't like, that still no, no, doesn't no. disqualify him. Listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. It still doesn't disqualify him as being multiple persons, just because he's one God. Because those yeah, are two different God. categories. He can still be one God and be multiple persons, which is why we see him no. talk as we and our. No, no, he can't. He can't. He can. All right. So why not? From the Quran. Mm. Okay, okay. My bad. I was talking to somebody in real life. Uh, well, this is real life too. But I'm talking. To in, in, yeah, this is real life, baby. Yeah, I was talking to somebody. I mean, uh, outside this uh, the stream. Um, but to the point I was trying to make to you is that God in, in that verse he cannot be a multi a multi personality or a multiple deity or uh, understand multiple deity. If you're saying one God, we scratch multiple deities out. There's only one exactly. deity. Exactly, but what? Exactly. But that still doesn't disqualify him being multiple persons. Okay, here's the problem when it comes to multiple persons. Okay, if, if you two were to associate anybody uh, to have um, godlike abilities that is in, uh, independent of God, then then that is kufr. I agree. Okay, okay. So you cannot say you cannot say, for example that uh, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was doing miracles uh, out of his own will. Well, he didn't do any miracles from the Quran, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, well, uh, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Is, uh, or, or even Moses, Moses, G uh, Jesus, uh, uh, Abraham, or anybody, anybody in general, whoever you want to talk about. Nobody can perform miracles uh, independent or, or, or out of their own will. How, do, how does this relate back to God having multiple persons, bro? That's what I'm trying to explain to you. It, okay. It, it, multi, multiple persons, right? Mm -hmm. Multiple persons means uh, th these individuals must have their own will. They must have it their mean, own No, no. It means, it means that these persons share the same divine will because there's one deity, which they, one divine nature that they all share together, yet they are distinct persons. Okay. One nature... The distinct persons though can some can some can one of them exist can you large uh, my screen i want to show show the verse can, very quickly. can one can one exist everybody knows the translation in english can one exist just read it i'm listening ranch uh okay can one exist without the other no they're necessary okay they're necessary okay. To the so, it says one, in that verse one, so can, like, that's Allah, like that's it's it's similar to oh sorry sorry just guys a second. let me let me just say it in english say he's he is allah the one and only allah the in, internal absolute he uh big i can't even uh, like i can't read that word he big be, big be, be, he, he neither begets nor is he begotten yes yes mm. and there is none uh, com com comparable to him. None compare. And, the, and by the way, the word for none there used in the, in that fourth verse is ahad. Crazy, right? The same word that you guys are trying to use for one actually is used for no one. No one of, of anything. Ahad is like Allah. So it's a group. No, right? No. And but it's it, it's okay though it's okay that that, that that verse that that verse that verse right there proves that god does not have multiple personalities but no it no it doesn't personalities persons but persons but no no it persons. doesn't it just shows it just shows what, what that there's nothing listen listen what that shows is that there's nothing in creation yes that you can that you can liken unto god which which actually would make sense if he's multi-personal no no what does it say? There is none comparable. I had, yeah, the word is I, the word I had is used there, brother. <laughs> ah, meaning, I had, meaning yeah. yes, yes, yes. That means that means that means there is nothing, no one, or mm. whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, that mm -hmm. is equivalent to God. 
I got you. Now, now here's the question with this ranch. When, right. you, when you say no one, that's no one of any group, right? Like I said, no one, no thing, no anything. Right, of any group, right? Yes. So you see how the word ahad is used as one of? Yes, one of. So that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The word ahad is all is it's always used throughout the Quran to yes. mean one of, like it's always one of a group. Yes. So when, when when the verse is saying that Allah is ahad, it's saying that He's one of, but one yeah, of what? He's, he's that's what I'm trying to explain to you. It says, uh, Allahu ahad," the subject. The subject is what? It's lordship. It's referring to God. Okay? And it says Ahad. Means that there is only one God. Say that, that say that God is only one. That's one what that's of. <laughs> and I wanna I wanna answer to somebody in the I'm comments. I'm trying to explain it to you in the most simplest way, but I the subject the subject of the verse. The subject of the word okay. Mm -hmm. What what the subject okay. of the verse is is God. That's the subject yep. of the verse. Well, so I'm going. I'm going with you, Ranch, because I'm. I'm willing. Even though I disagree with the conclusion, however, it's 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 okay. I'm going with you that you're saying one God. That's what it's saying. Fine. That still doesn't tell me that he's not multiple persons. Okay. The one God that, that's, that's multiple persons. The next part. Yeah, yeah, God logic. I want to read. Read, just, read, read, read the last something. verse in the, in the same in the same surah. Read the last verse. Yeah, so if there's no if there's nobody comparable to God, that doesn't take away him being multiple persons. Yeah, it actually yeah. which it actually strengthens that point. No, no, no. You cannot say anything or any being or whatever it is is equivalent to God. For exactly. Example, for example, for example, if you were to say Jesus, Jesus is a different being, but he's equal to God. So that's that's not what I'm saying. Not I'm not saying different beings, brother. Any a being that is any any being outside of God would person, fall under the category of listen, ranch, ranch. Any being, any being that would fall outside of the category of God is not like God. Cannot be compared to Him. Any, so I'm not saying different beings. I'm saying one being, which is one God, being multi-personal. That's what I'm saying. So if Jesus is god is the one being along with the father along with the spirit that's perfectly fine there's nobody like them but, 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 but Jesus, so that's what i'm asking how do you how do you show from the quran that allah is not multi-personal when he's I'll using you, I'll bring you I'm, I'm explaining i explained it to you okay because in that, in that last verse it tells you that there is nothing like him or onto him or has any has his nature or his will or anything you cannot compare it to anybody. Okay, so, okay, so for, for, for example, for example, Ranch, yeah. can you point to anything in creation that is a singular person? Sorry, what was it? Could you repeat that? Can you point to anything in creation that is a singular person? Anything in creation that is a singular person? Yeah. One being one person. Is there anything like that in creation? Yes. Okay. Is there anything... Uh, in creation that you can say is multi-personal one being but multi-personal multi-personal mm -hmm. uh, no so that means that if, that it makes sense if God is multi-personal to say that there's nothing in creation that you can compare to him because there's nothing in creation that's multi-personal no. but if you're saying that God is a singular person then there's things in creation we could point to that's like him <laughs> misunderstanding okay just because uh for example us as humans every person is their, is their own person okay the, the verse is not talking about you uh uh, uh how can i explain it you got you gotta admit that i made a good point man no no because i'm, I'm trying this is what i'm trying to explain to you but I, you know i explained it multiple times just try to put it in a different way that you can understand is that you cannot say, you cannot say that. Uh, you, know, you know I made a good point. No, no, no. For example, for example, okay, okay, I'll give you an example. Okay. Yes, as, 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 God, as, God, as God merciful. Yeah. Okay, or can humans be merciful? Yeah. Okay, is the mercy of God the same as the mercy of people? Uh, it, no, he's more merciful, that's no, all. It's not, it's not the same, it's not the same at all. 
There's nothing like you, you, you can do you that, 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 that doesn't even make any sense because they're still alike because they still have the ability to be merciful. Bro. No, no, no. Yes, yeah, exactly. No, no. But you cannot say that you cannot compare creation to the creator. You cannot compare. But, but, but you not, are, though. But, but you're not understanding no. what you're saying. You're still yeah. using an example where we both can still have the same attribute. I, I, I yep. can be merciful I, and I, God can be merciful. We, my my friend, I'm, I'm, explaining, I, I'm gonna give I'm, you a question. I'm giving you a question. Yeah, you're you're, 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 you're comparing the level of, wait one second. You're comparing mm -hmm. the level of mercy no. God can mm -hmm. have compared no. to humans, but you're not mm -hmm. saying that we both can't be merciful. So no. you're still right. not, you're not, no, you're no, not no, making the right, you're not making a good example. I'm giving you from an Islamic point perspective, okay? Because we say, we, say, we say anything that you can see in this world or act upon or do, right? God has no, has no, no uh, uh, similarity to it, okay? Uh, That's not true. Huh? That's not true. I'm, I'm talking about Islamically. But, uh, okay, again, Islamically, that's not true. Because, again, you have mercy, Allah has mercy, his mercy is better than yours. However, you guys both have mercy. That's a likeness. No, no, no. I got a question for you guys. That, very, that very is. good question. What's what's the difference between us and Jesus? What's the difference between us and Jesus? Boy, he loves Jesus, don't he? Okay. Okay. Of course, we also we love Jesus. What's the difference between you saw that. us and no, we Jesus? Got on that Trinity. You guys can keep that. <laughs> no, what's the difference mm -hmm. between us and Jesus? That's He's my infinite. question. He's infinite. You're not. No, 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 no. That's He's not God, the answer. Not. I'm waiting for. See, exactly right there. Right there. When he said Jesus is infinite, is infinite. That, that, mm. that's 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 contradictory. Yeah, my, that's fine. I tell so, you what's so, so, so can you break down? Can you break down? Notice how I made a very good point I'm, that I'm according to the verse, if there's nothing comparable to to God. It would make sense for him to be multi-personal since you can't find anything in creation to compare him to because nothing in creation is multi-personal. Everything in creation that has personhood is a singular person like the Allah you're talking about, which we can compare to. Now, you tried to go to the situation of mercy, but you're still here showing that Allah can be comparable when it comes to having mercy because we all have mercy. His mercy is just better than mine. No, no, you know? no, 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 you cannot say, you cannot, when it says you cannot, uh, uh, um, there's nothing, on, nothing like or unto him, right? So whatever mercy that we have is not like the mercy that God has, okay? Just because it's, gr it, it, you're trying to say, oh, he can be more merciful. No, it's different. You cannot say. So, so is it still mercy? It's a different form of mercy. I got you. I got you. So it's still mercy, right? It's a different type of mercy. It's not the mercy that we have. No mercy. Wait, is it still mercy though? It's not. So I'm trying to explain to you. It <laughs> cannot be compared to what. It's not. It's not saying that. Yes. Okay. We're not arguing what what's compared, bro. And I'm not. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's, we're not. We're not. We're not, we're not disputing that it point. Cannot, it cannot be like. It cannot be like. Just the ranch. Is it? Is does Allah have mercy? Yes. Yes. Do we have mercy? And yes. So, so I'm trying to explain to you. Do we, have, do we have mercy, brother? Yes. 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 Okay. That's what he's he trying to explain to you. <laughs> so ranch, so ranch, both of both, both you, both we and Allah have mercy. Correct. He's saying he's like the 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 merciful of like his his level of mercy is higher yeah, than our level. Yeah, of mercy, yes, right? yes. Yes. Okay, correct. we got it. But we still have mercy. He's just better than us it's at not it, right? Like our mercy. It's better than anything. Oh, no, it's not I, got, like I, got mercy. Mercy, I got you. His mercy is not like not like mine in that his mercy is infinite. He's all merciful. I'm I'm yes. finitely yes. merciful, yes. right? We, However, we, we both we both still have the attribute of mercy. No, no, it's not that that's what I'm explaining to you. The likeness of our mercy and his mercy are not the same. Is it mercy can, though? I'm can, not asking about look, Ranch, I'm not yeah. talking about likeness. Is it mercy or not? I'm trying to explain it to you. If you can if, if you yourself can comprehend it and think of it, then it's it's wrong. So then okay, I got you. Okay, good. You just made a very important point. Life. If we can comprehend it or think about it, it's wrong. So when you say that Allah has mercy. Which you don't really mean he has mercy because we understand what mercy is. 
So he doesn't have, he doesn't really have mercy, what we would call mercy. So when you say Allah is merciful, you're, it's, you're equating it to saying Allah is blah. Yeah, he really blah, just blah, don't, blah. He, he really doesn't know what Allah has. He's just saying Allah has, I don't know. Yeah, Allah has, Allah is all means, blah. Mercy means I don't know to Muslims. No, no. Allah, Allah is the most blah, blah, blah. No. He's the ever, he's the ever blah blah blah, you know, because no. these the most, words, the, these words the don't most, mean anything. I don't know. The no, no, no. Merciful, I don't know. That's no. what he is. The, the point, the, the point I'm trying to explain to you. Allah's it's, attributes are one big IDK. I, I have to, I have to drop, but Ranch, I, I like you, man. We got to talk some more, bro. For real. I, I, I got to drop too. I, it's about time to be time for for her, here for me. Before you guys, uh, before you guys go, I gotta go. Take it easy, uh, fellas. Uh, I had uh, the, right, the Ranch, question. The answer to my question about uh, the difference between us and Jesus, that, listen, it's going to be, it's going to sound a little bit harsh. Uh, first of all, we came out of two pee holes. He came out of one. So, you, like, you see, we're not, we not holy. He's not holy. Adam didn't come out of no pee hole. Adam should should be Jonathan, more holy. What are you talking about, man? You waited all this time. What, 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 what is this? What's the point of this? The point is that... Uh, like, how you holy if you come out of a pee hole, two pee holes, the man and the woman. So how we are holy, how Jesus is holy, Adam didn't come out of no pee hole. God, God created Adam from dust. So he didn't come out of a man or a woman. So if where's we're going to talk where's about where's somebody... Where's your, where's your head at right now, man? Uh, the, uh, my head is here. You so about you about to get dropped, man. It's an, uh, unimportant, I mean, it's an unimportant conversation. Uh, it Listen is not, important. It is. No, important. it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, yeah, I don't know. You waited all that that time to say that, bro. You you, you have you have to look at it that way. How 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 uh, we not holy because we came out of two pee holes. Uh, uh, that's how I brought it to you. That's how how it should be. Okay. Would you like to have a real conversation or no? Yes, I do. Huh? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, cool. So what, uh, did, did, did Islam start in the 6th century? Uh, no. No, it did not. I when think it's about start? the 6th or the 7th. No, uh, no, no. Islam, Islam was there since the angels. Huh? Islam was there since the angels. Since and the, the angels? Jinn. When were the angels? Uh, uh, b before the jinn. When were the jinn? I uh, think it's the 6th or the 7th. After the angels, before Adam. After okay. Earth. So you said the angels were before the jinn. Then when I said when were the jinn, you said the jinn were after the angels. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bro, okay. what are you talking you. about? Hold on. This dude just said the angels, bro. This dude just said the angels. The angels were before oh, the 610. jinn. Six hundred and ten. The jinn were after the angels. Six hundred and ten. The jinn were before the yeah, Adam. Okay, so are you gonna give me a are you gonna give me a date? Six hundred and ten. Oh my God! <laughs> are you gonna no. give me? Are you gonna give me a date? Or are you just gonna quote stuff? Uh, uh, on the eighth of the, you, I'm I'm not. Uh, I don't know how to translate that. Oh, no, when of, did your religion start, man? Uh, uh, the first human was uh, was a Muslim, so we don't know the exact date. A very very long time ago. It no, no, there is an exact it's, date. It's just an yeah, Arabic. Yeah, so, I don't know so how to translate. The, the date was not recorded, but we know yeah, that. What does your religion date back to? When 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 is when is its conception? Hold on. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the exact date. Hold on. I was only asking for the exact date of the angels and the jinn, but since you're saying it was June, eight, angels, June eight, June eight, June eight, of the uh, six hundred and ten. Come on. <laughs> I'm serious. No, that's when Islam guys started. Are, no, all the prophets were Muslim. Islam, you can't say Islam that. Islam started on June Gaza, 8th, No, no, let me correct. Gazelle, no, all the prophets were Muslim. You can't say that. You can't say no, that. Islam started on June 8th, oh, y'all. All right, Gazelle, you can't say that. This is... Come on, this man. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Hold on, hold on. I'll show you. You think I'm joking? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, oh, okay. Gaza, no, no, no. Islam was here. The first Muslim was was Adam. You can't you can't be saying. All right, cool. Okay, cool. So the first Muslim was Adam. Okay, great. Uh, now, human, my, human, human, human Muslim. I'm talking was Adam. about I'm talking about Muhammad, uh, when when Islam started. Yes, right? he did not invent Islam. He just revived 
the teaching of the prophets uh, and guys. Hey, guys, I'm a guys. I'm gonna drop you. I don't think you're following the conversation. Um, so Ibn Taymiyyah. So mm. you so you said Islam started with Adam. Uh, he, no, he was the first Muslim. The Islam was there uh, ever since the first uh, uh, creation of Allah. He submitted to him. The planets are Muslim. Why? Because he submitted to Allah. So there were there were Muslims before Adam. Mm -hmm. Who was the first human being on Earth? Adam. Okay. And so, who were Muslims before Adam? Uh, this could be the jinn. This could be the this could be the Muslim uh, angels. This can be the pen. This because the pen, yeah, the, the pen submitted his will to Allah. Okay. Cool. So, okay, that that's insane. But all right, I'll take that. <laughs> the plan uh, submit to Allah. It's all good. It's all good. Don't even worry about it, man. It's all good. We'll we'll we'll, we'll graze over that. Okay, so now what do you have prior to Muhammad that authenticates your religion? Uh, what's your standard uh, looking for? Are you looking for historical evidence? What's your standard? My standard is gonna be is gonna be the Quran. What the Quran no, says, because that's the, the, the question was prior to Muhammad, so you can't use the Quran. How, how are you going to use the Quran? Wait, why would I use a document such as the Bible has been? That's not, that's not uh, infallible. Word, did I say anything about the Bible? I mean, I mean that, that's where you want me to go, correct? No, nah, not once. I didn't tell you. I didn't tell you where to go. Okay. So are, are, are you looking for archaeological evidence? What are you asking you can go, me to do? You, 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 can go, you can go wherever you want to go. Just make sure it authenticates Islam before Islam. Or make sure it authenticates the Quran and Muhammad before the Quran and Muhammad. Right. And, and Islam is not just Quran, Muhammad. So also Islam just means the, the submission to God, right? So I, 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 could bring you, I could bring you any document that says X submitted his will to God and that would be Muslim, right? What? what? I'm saying that Islam is not, is an action, it's a verb. So you want documents where people did Islam. I'm asking you to verify your religion. That's what I'm asking you to do. Okay, okay. My, my religion is not based off archaeological evidence. My, my, my religion is based off revelations. Uh, right, exactly. And there were revelations before that it says that it confirms. But you, you're acting like you don't know or you don't know how to go to that. Yeah. Allah. But, but since you quoted the Quran, the Quran, I'm, I'm this is Ahl Kitab corrupted. I, uh, that's not the conversation. I'm not asking you. You quoted the Quran. I'm not asking you about that. I'm saying you're saying your your religion is based on revelation, but you're using okay. its own revelation to verify itself. You're not using anything else other than the Quran. I'm asking you for stuff outside of the Quran. So what do you have to verify Islam outside of the Quran prior to the Quran's conception. What do you have? All right. All right. So before the Quran, that, that's, that's not going to be a valid question because my religion is based off revelation to prophets, right? So wait, we use the Quran. Wait, wait, wait. Which, what does prior mean? Yeah, prior is before. Okay, thank you. So if your religion is based on revelation before the Quran, provide that. Okay, the, the final revelation was the Quran and the previous revelation are not accessible. They were corrupted. You can't provide any of that ever. You can't provide, you can't provide it. Subhanallah. So how can that, your Quran... You know what? So, you know what? So how I, can I, you, I, wait, wait, wait. So how can your Quran be established on the basis of what was before it if you can't even give me that? You just said that's what establishes your religion. Previous no, no, revelation. No, no, because, 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 now you're because, saying you don't have it. You know, because as Muslims, we, we don't require to seek uh, seek evidence of existence of Islam before the Quran. You just, the Quran said prior, you just said prior revelation establishes your religion. Then when I asked for it, you said you don't have it. So how does prior revelation establish your religion if you don't even have it? Allah. And, and do you know the contents of the revelation? Huh? Do you know the context whenever it says we have gave revelation to the messengers? You said through the context of revelation. Right, right. So, so, so with the, within the context, what where I said, you just told me you don't have revelations. Any. What revelation? You just told me you don't have any. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Calm down. Right. Mess revelation. Why you giving nabis, right? Messenger of Rasuls. Then over time, those will not be preserved. So the Quran is a preserved one. So if you're you're, you're trying to so make me go, so how is your? So you just said. The Quran 
is established on the basis of prior revelation. You said revelation. And we started to talk about revelation before it because you know that's what I'm asking for. Then you agreed. But then when I asked for evidence of that revelation, now you're saying you don't have it. So, no, no, is, no, no. so, so is your religion the, the, the evidence? Yeah, the, the evidence of the revelation so, so, would go on. One second, yes. one, second, one second. So is your religion established on, on, on the basis of prior revelation or not? Uh, no, it's my, my, my Quran is my, my religion is established on the Quran, like right now. Okay, so, so you can't, okay. So now let me ask the question again What can you verify your religion with prior to the Quran? If you're claiming your religion does not start in the sixth century, what prior to the sixth century do you have to establish your religion? Not just some uh, piece of paper that says believe God is one, as you tried to insinuate a minute ago. Uh, 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 no so authentic evidence that we can show, hey, wow, this religion is actually authenticated because we can uh, connect uh, it to something. Uh, love, for example. Let, let's, go, let's go to Isaiah 42, verse 19. Wait a minute. I thought, so, so wait, so you do have prior revelation? No, 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 no. But you said evidence of a religion, so I'll show you my religion. Wait, 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 wait. So is Isaiah, what did you say, 52? No. 42, 19? 42, verse 19. Okay, so is Isaiah forty two nineteen authentic prior re revelation? I mean, it, it could be. It, it, it agrees with thumb. It could be. Okay, I don't want Allah it could be. I don't it, want it could be. You know, like, uh, for example, like, uh, I don't want it, it could be. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want it could be. Give me something it, authentic. No, no, if, if you're going to Tafsir, 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 as no, you're trying not, to denounce Isaiah. We're not Isaiah going to Tafsir. Look, look. You know, you, you never studied Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir has books now. Ibn and Kathir is Ibn Kathir does prophets. commentary. Ibn, Ibn Kathir, Kathir deems does. Isaiah as a prophet. Ibn okay? Kathir does have. commentary. That's oh wait, oh wait a minute. He deems Whoa. Isaiah as a prophet. Okay, then why wait, don't you accept wait, 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 his scriptures wait, 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 in totality? You only think Ibn Kathir did commentary? Are you serious? You I think his Ibn Kathir does? Mysterious? I said Ibn Kathir you does. You never did I say, read a book from him. He only, did I say only or did I say Ibn Kathir does commentary? You never read a book from him. Damn, you're uneducated. Okay, so so was Ibn Kathir revealed revelation from Allah? Uh, no, this, this is called Ijtihad. Okay, so what are you trying to refer to that Ibn Kathir does? Then? Yeah, 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 so it's Ijtihad. Huh? Ijtihad. Ijtihad. Speak I'm, 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 I'm speaking the, the simplest word ever, Ijtihad, it's an Islamic term. Is that an English word? Uh, same way, Islam, Islam's not an English word, you're, you're saying the word Islam, Ijtihad. Look at this, run. SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. He wanted you to do that like he can sustain. Yeah, I know he did. I know he did. And he got his wish. He got his wish. Yeah, okay. What's your name, please? Me? Ryan, is it? Is your name Ryan? Is my name Ryan? No. Okay. You asked what is, what is the evidence for the previous revelation. Am I right? Yeah. What, what, what previously, you know, previous revelation or uh, to be honest, look, I'm not even saying that you guys automatically go to previous revelation, right? No, no, I'm not going to go to understand previous revelation. One, one, one second. One second. I'm, you asked me a question. I'm trying to establish what we're doing here. I'm asking for a previous revelation prior to Islam. You guys admit Islam does not start in the sixth century. Let me ask you the question. Do you agree that Islam did not start in the sixth century? Yes. Okay, so that means Islam started prior to the sixth century, right? Yes. Okay, great. Now, what evidence do you have to authenticate and substantiate Islam prior to the Quran and Muhammad receiving revelations? What do you have? If I give it the evidence from the Quran, will you be able to accept it? Dude, why do y'all keep saying? Do you know what prior to the Quran and no, Muhammad I'm, means? Okay, I'm asking you. You need to go and refer back. Will you be able to accept it? You're saying will you be able to accept it, but you're going somewhere where I literally asked no, you. No, no, no. I'm not going it somewhere. Before I come to the answering your question, okay. First, you need to understand what is Islam. Islam no, no. comes from the uh, word. I need to, you need to give me a chance to, to explain it. Islam comes from the root word salam, which means peace. That is 
Islam. Okay, Muslim. Muslim means a person who submits his will to the will of God. Means surrender and submit to God. Thus, Islam is a religion of peace, which is acquired by submitting one wills to the will of Supreme Creator. That is Allah SWT. So, I explain to you what is Islam and what is Muslim. Okay, now, Allah in the Allah, all the previous prophets and messengers were Muslim by definition. That means they surrender and submit to God. Whether it's Adam, Noah, Lot, Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, John the Baptist, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. So here is the, the understanding. Now asking you, how did Jesus submit his will to the will of God? You tell me. Can you tell us? Hey, Jack, he was asking you, how can you authenticate your religion outside of your own religion? Without using a circular argument, how do you authenticate that your religion was actually supposed to come? Do you have any evidence of anything suggesting that Islam was supposed to come? Can you talk loud a bit? Can you talk loud a bit? Is my mic low? Okay, now okay. Can you hear me? Yes. He was asking for evidence outside of your Quran to authenticate mm. that your mm. Quran, that Islam mm. was coming. Because the Quran says that it is a confirmation and it is the final revelation of previous mm. scriptures. Mm. What evidence do you have to say that your Quran is actually telling the truth? Okay, now I'm asking you the same question back to you. What is the evidence that Jesus is a uh, Christian you cannot Never, give because we, why nobody hold on, because hold on. why nobody ever says Jack nobody ever says that Jesus is a Christian so you're you're you're, you're, you're question isn't viable because no, no one ever okay, says that, is the that Jesus was a Christian Okay, now that is the reason I asked in the first beginning. Will you be able to accept if I give the answer? Because the answer is from the Quran, but there is a reference to the previous persons. Who are these people? How do they worship their God? So we have to go back and see and study how do they worship their God? If even Abraham worship his God, so what is called for him? They're true worshippers. They not worship any idols. That's how we have to see. If you ask me outside, if, you, if I can say, I can ask the same question to anybody about any religion. Hey, can you give me any evidence outside of religious textbook that Jesus is a, is a, is a Christian or Jesus is a, something else? Or... I can ask from outside of the scriptures for any religion. Are you if you ask for empirical evidence, there are a lot. No, no, I don't think you get the question. We can say because we have the old testament. Word of your Jesus. Say you are referring to the, the text or so. You are referring no, to the we, scriptures or so. We, Listen, 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 listen. Stop running. We have you. the Old Testament. <laughs> we have the Old Testament that tells us that Jesus mm. was to come. He was prophesied mm. to come. Mm. 
That's how mm. you get Christians because we follow Christ and we use the Old Testament to authenticate our religion. Mm. What do you have to say that Islam was to come after, I guess you want to say Christianity or anything like that? What what okay. evidence do you have? Okay, in the, in the Islam, it says uh, Torah was revealed to Moses. God, uh, angel was re uh, revealed to Jesus. Okay, from our point of view, Muslim point of view, yes, those scriptures were corrupted. Similarly, Jeremiah 8, 8 also said the same thing. Human corrupt the scriptures. You so cannot deny that. Me, you, wait, so hang on, hang on. Let me answer first. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me answer first. Let me, let me answer first. Because I, I gave you time to topic. say, now let me answer. Yeah, yeah. You're going to a different topic. Going to no, different no, no. Topic. I'm not going to. Yes. I'm not going to so different topics. You're telling me, hold on, hold on. You're telling me that the only way you can affirm your religion is through corrupted text. Yes. Yes, and you feel comfortable with using texts that are corrupted or inauthentic to verify your religion. Hang on, man. I haven't finished yet. Okay, I haven't finished yet. I said, my scripture said your scripture was corrupted. And also your Old Testament itself said Okay. The scripture yeah, has been corrupted. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You got another guest, man? Hang on, hang on, hang on. You want answer? Hey, yeah, I give yeah, you the answer. Hold on. Let's try it one time, Jack. Hold on real quick. Okay. Our scriptures are corrupt. Okay, I got you. The, mm. the, the New Testament gospels out of there. Throw them away. The Torah, mm. out of there. Throw them away. What else do you have to substantiate your religion? Those two are off okay. the table. Don't even mention them no more. I'm granting you. Okay. I'm granting it to you. Okay, they're, good, they're good, good. You asking me what, the what question. Else, what else Very did you good. got? What else did you have? Very good. You ask. You tell me that. You ask me that question. Okay, but why we do reject uh, Bible or Old Testament and New Testament? You're still going to the Bible and Old Testament. I'm not asking you about. Oh, that. He gone. He gone, man. He gone. He gone. He, <laughs> Bro is on bot mode. Bot bot central, man. Uh, Khadijah, how's it going? Hey real, hey, real quick. Hey, I just want to say salam al Masih to the brothers. Hey, I'm a drop. I gotta. I had to stop the whole conversation to let y'all know I was about to drop. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I guess that's what we do on TikTok. So I love y'all, man. Hey, life. Hey, thanks for letting me up, man. Like, you know, <laughs> God bless you. Hey, you two word, man. God bless you, brothers, man. I really love like doing this with y'all, man. So. Hey, real talk, man. We're gonna, we I'll be back home with y'all. I'm following y'all now, bro. I'm following y'all. <laughs> man, Logic is a trip, man. Uh, now, you know, uh, HD was about to come up. Logic about to run from HD because he know he's gonna come up with them. Oh, haymakers. my goodness. Khadijah Muhammad, are you here? Uh, I'm here. Salam. Um, you asked uh, uh, first. Um, I'm sorry for my broken English. I'm, I live in Germany. I try my best to explain. Um, you asked for evidence uh, for Islam, right? Yeah, prior to Muhammad receiving revelations. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, we have for the first time in history a scripture, the Quran, which is uh, built um, in. Uh, uh, this book has a proof of divine authorship, a, sum a superhuman mathematical uh, composition. It is a uh, nineteen code. I and, I do uh, not know you. Khadija, you know about it. Khadija, I said prior to Muhammad receiving revelations, which means that you can't use the Quran. Okay, but um, when you take the Quran, it is not important prior or uh, it is in the Quran. When it is a proof, it is a proof, right? So, okay, so the question isn't, is prior history to Islam important? It's, do you have prior history and evidence before Islam, before Muhammad started receiving revelation? Excuse me. Do you have that prior information? That's what it is. It's not whether it's important. 
do you have it? And then we'll discuss whether it's important or not later. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we have it, but uh, we can. Uh, you can see it uh, otherwise, like like me. Um, this is not a proof for me, but this proof I am um, telling uh, you about. It is. It is. Um, it is an overwhelming proof. So you have it. So who who is? Come on, <laughs> come on, logic, bro. What you doing? You about to feel my stage? Do you yeah, ever? Listen. I'm sorry. Do you ever heard about the 19 codes? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do that, life. I didn't do it. No, logic did it, man. It's just throwing any everybody up on the stage, huh? <laughs> so I'm asking you, uh, Khadija. Do you have it? So you said yes, you do. Okay, cool. So what do you have? There's proof that prior to even the Quran that only one God was worshipped. There was no idol worshipping, there was no trinity, even prior to the Quran, even prior to the Prophet Muhammad. Okay. When, when we speak uh, about you, with regards to Jesus, Abraham, Ishmael, they all submitted their will to one God. Okay, yeah. what, are you, what are you referring to? We can refer to the Bible. Okay, That's, cool. Even so, like, so, but so now, that, you know, that, I know you're getting annoyed. Sorry, second, I know you're getting annoyed when people say like they're going to refer to the Quran because you're saying prior to the Quran, which I understand where you're coming from. No, but, but before you use the is, Bible, I'm asking, is that an authentic source? For you, it is. No, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking you, you, because we're talking about. For your, me, your... I would refer to my book because the Quran that was revealed to Mo, um, Jesus at the time has been is no longer in its original form yeah but islam didn't start in the sixth century though right but that's what i'm saying that's why i referred to jesus the book that was revealed to jesus which is the bible is no longer in its original form so i can't go back but now you've referred it. but now you've referred to that only because of me I yeah, want you if refer, I tell you, I'm going to come with refer, the Quranic. I want you to refer to something because of you. I don't, I don't want you to give me the answer I want to hear. I want you to give yourself the answer as if you were also looking for this information. So no, the question is... That, that's why so people answer, are telling you one to... Second, one second. So the answer would either be, I don't have that information, or yes. I just choose not to look into that information. It's, 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 it's either or. Okay. Um... But that's why if I tell you now, I'm going to refer to the Quran, you're going to be like prior to obviously the existence of Islam. But Islam but always came about. Because has always been prior. God. Yeah, but the question has always been prior to Muhammad receiving revelations. So <clears throat> I don't know why every Muslim has went to the Quran when the Quran is after Muhammad receiving okay, revelations. Okay, so this is the thing, right? All so in islam what we believe is all the prophets right ishmael abraham just to be quick and brief with it have mm -hmm. all been sent with a message from god whether that is through the torah or the um injil which is the bible right mm -hmm. and all of them were sent with one message which is to submit the will to one god and to not associate any partners with him you believe that but can you substantiate that what are you, what are you using so, to So, when the Prophet Muhammad was then sent, it was the seal of the prophethood and also the yeah. Quran was sent because the Bible was changed. Khadija. And even in... Khadija, Khadija. Yeah, it's Nora speaking. <laughs> yes, please. Oh, Nora. Okay, whoever's speaking, yeah. if you don't have the information, just say it. Just okay, say we don't yeah. have it. Just say we don't uh, have. We, even in the Bible, okay, even in let today. Me finish. Let me finish, please. Let me finish. Just say simply, we don't have prior information before Muhammad received in, uh, uh, revelation to authenticate him. Just say that. It, it, it'll, it'll make much more sense so we can move the conversation forward. But you guys like to waffle on to try to uh, insinuate you have it, but then you don't have it. But, but it's in the Quran. And then, you start, and then you start to tell me what you believe. Once, no, again, it, it's... once again, we are not talking about what's in the Quran. We are talking about what's before the Quran. If you don't have yes, it, but the Quran you don't is... have it so we can move forward. But have you yeah. read the Quran, though? Because it's telling you everything that has happened prior. It talks about Jesus, okay. Abraham, all um... the stories. So for you to get your actual confirmation, you need to read the Quran because then you'll understand Confer what question, has happened prior to the, Muhammad. The, 
The question has nothing to do with what's in the Quran at the moment. The question May has I? nothing to do with what's in the Quran. Repeat for the, the question. For the fourth time, please stop bringing up the Quran if I'm asking for stuff prior to it. And that's what I'm okay, telling Moses, you. I, we can't go back to the it old is, It is written. I'm changed. sorry. Can I? Can okay, I? Okay. Uh, so, speak so, as the, well? so the answer. Hold on. Wait. She says something good. So the answer to the question is we don't have prior history, authentic history to establish Islam. Incorrect. No. So we, then what we do, do you have? It is written in, in the Bible, Moses, in Deuteronomium 18.15. A prophet like me will the Lord, your God, rise up for you from among your kinsmen. To him you shall listen. Or in 18.18 18, uh, till 19, I will rise up for them a prophet like you from among the kinsmen and will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them all that I command him. If any man will not listen to my words, which mm -hmm. uh, he speaks in mm -hmm. my name, mm -hmm. I myself will make him answer for it. Great. Now, that's the Bible. Is the Bible authentic? Not today's um, Bible. I'm talking to one person. Is the Bible authentic? It is uh, authentic, but not all the Bible, like the okay. sister said. Okay, great. So what authentic source do you have? Not something that you don't believe is authentic and you can pick and choose what you like because you're having confirmation bias. Once again, using the Quran. If you're going to use, mm -hmm. use, wait, wait, one second. You can't use one verse in Deuteronomy that, that has nothing to do with Muhammad, doesn't say anything about Muhammad and just place Muhammad in there and then run somewhere else. So no. what authentic source, wait, 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 one second. One second, because you're, listen, this is what you're doing. It's like going into a book, reading something that talks about the coming of something or someone, and then saying, look, see, that's Muhammad, and then ignoring everything else that it says in the passage. So I'm asking you, is all of Deuteronomy authentic? Let's just stay in all of Deuteronomy so far, right now. Is all of Deuteronomy authentic? Is that authentic scripture from Allah that's establishing the coming of Islam? No, so we don't take obviously from the Bibles because it's not authentic because it was changed. Thank you. Thank you. So Nobody why are you at that okay, time memorized you, the Bible? Wait, 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 so, so it was changed you, through time. So why, thank you. So whoever was talking, why did you just take from the Bible to try to prove Islam? Because every time we try to tell you, like I personally wouldn't do that, but when I'm telling you, let me go to the Quran, you're saying prior, which I totally understand, but the Quran explains everything that happened prior. You say, if you, uh, you're not listen, giving it a chance. Quran, if you say, let me go to the Quran one more time, I'm going to have to kick you. But I'm did so you not sorry. just say, go to a source that you believe in? So if I go to your Bible, you're going to say, no, say don't go, go to it. To when did I say, me. go to a source that I believe in? This isn't about no, what no, I believe No, no, you in. say, go to a source that I believe in. Well, so if you, I go to the exactly. Quran, you're not going to be happy. But if I go to your Bible, you're also going to say, you don't believe in it. What was the question that I asked you? The question that you asked me is to prove prior to the Quran. How so you... <laughs> how in the world are you telling me you won't let me go to the Quran? The question opts the Quran out of the whole situation right now. But so we, why, uh, so why would you that were... your, wait one second. Why would you even in your mind think that it's okay to go to the Quran when I'm asking you prior to the Quran, what evidence do you have? Okay, bring me the original state of the Bible, and I, that will be something I believe in, and that I will take. Who claimed, from. Who, who claimed anything about the Bible establishing the coming of Islam? Why do I have to bring you the original state of the Bible? It does, though. It did. Oh, so the Bible did. That's, what That's why claimed? Jesus came with the message of worship, and wait, Abraham wait, 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 they came with the hold message on, of God. Second. Hold on one second. So you're claiming the Bible did establish the coming of Islam? The original form of the Bible, not how it is now. Okay, prove it. There's, it, it's proof within the Quran, and that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Okay, goodbye, Nira. Listen, yeah, look, even here in the Bible, there's verses where... This is Islam, ladies and gentlemen. Jump in and out the Bible when you want to. Let's, let's keep it going. This is Their Islam, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, let me put my Christian and Bible jacket on for the conversation, 
And then as soon as I get asked a question about the Bible, boom, let me take the jacket off. I'm Muslim again. I don't trust the Bible. The Bible's unreliable. It's not authentic. Forget the Bible. Oh, but then when they try to establish no, something, no. let me put my Christian and Bible, let me put my Christian and Bible jacket back on really quick. As soon as you ask another Bro, question, oh, let me take the jacket Bro. off. Come on, man. Brother, on. Uh, brother, can I say something? I believe, um, I personally believe in the Bible because it is my book also as, as well. It is my book as well, but I can uh, filter with the Quran the um, pa pa passage of the Bible who is manipulated or corrupted. I can do that. You believe in the Bible? Is the Bible authentic? It is ninety per uh, percent the word of God, right? But there are contradictions, like uh, the generations. Um, it is. If, the, if it's ninety, you got to have ninety. I'm sorry. You got an echo. Again? You got to swipe out and swipe back up. Come back in. You say you believe in the Bible. It's ninety percent authentic. Then that means it's not the word of God. I mean, it's not. It's not the word of God. The Bible needs to be 100% authentic. Can't just come in and out of the Bible when you want to. It doesn't work like that. Because if I said the Quran is 90% authentic, you guys would laugh me out of the room. So you can't say, oh, the Bible is 90% authentic because then that leaves you room to literally hop skip like the other guest, Khadija. So you can't do that. You can't claim the Bible is 90% authentic and try to have a conversation. We're talking about scripture. If I said your Quran was 90% authentic, I wouldn't even deal with it. So I, I want to talk about authentic scripture, not bits and pieces, pieces of it. OK. So can we do that? Do you do you have the capability to talk about authentic scripture, Khadija? I can do that. But uh, when I research, uh, research uh, the uh, Bible, I see contradictions. And this is why I said it is 90 percent um, right, but 10 percent. Uh, Yes, manipulated. This, so you just this said you can't. So you said you can do it, but you're going to scriptures with contradictions, which would mean it's not from God, right? Um, you think you think scripture? You think you think scripture can be in part like some of it can be from God, some of it can't be from God. You think that that's that's the case? You mm -mm, think the I think were, you think so. You think the you think that book can be fulfilled can be filled with things that are from God and, and not from God? Is that what you're saying? No, the word uh, doesn't change uh, because the word of the Quran, when you, um, when you- We're not um, talking about the Quran. Mm -hmm. Look, in the Gospel of Matthew, for example, there are 28 generations between David and Jesus. In the Gospel of Luke, however, we read 43 generations. Why is it so? Is the, is, is the gospel of Matthew authentic? Uh, uh, I said it. it. It is for me. Um, uh, no. Okay. Is the gospel of Luke authentic? I do not know which one is authentic. This is a thing. What 90% of the Bible is, what 90% of the Bible is authentic? Give mm -hmm. me the book names. Uh, I don't know uh, which uh, which pa passage uh, right now, but um, yes. What do you mean? This is you what I can over. say. If you're claiming ninety percent of the Bible is authentic. You can't name me one book that's authentic. Yes, the Quran, the Final Testament. <laughs> oh come can, on! Can I ask you? Can I ask you, uh, Life GL, what 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 is the problem with the Quran? What is it uh, that you have a problem with? You just realized it. I just showed you. Knowledge, what's going on? Yeah, brother, how are we doing? Chilling, man. You following the conversation? A uh, little bit. So I was doing my prayers in between. So pretty much, um, yeah. What do you want to know? I can tell you a little bit about the Quran, yeah? Right. Yeah. So we're not. We're not. We're not, we're, not asking, we're not asking anything about the Quran right now. You are asking about the Bible, yeah? No. Okay. Tell me what you're asking about. We're asking for prior history, historical evidences that establish the authentic, uh, the authenticity of the coming of Islam. Meaning, provide. Yeah, okay. Authentic. Okay, I got you. I got you. Meaning, provide authentic evidence 
prior to Muhammad receiving revelation? Um, first of all, when God, when, when God mentions Moses, right, he mentioned a name called Haman, right, which is very important in uh, historic essences because when you go back to Egypt, because the blacks built, well, sorry, the melanated, dark-skinned people built the ancient world, a lot of our history has been hidden, yeah, because of this. But the Quran, the Quran solidifies solidifies uh, that the ancients were melanated people how much, first history, how much history has been hidden um <laughs> everything brother the the kings and the queens were all so everything hidden. so so everything that could authenticate one second one second so everything that could authenticate islam prior no, to muhammad no, receiving revelation no has been hidden. no wait no 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 Move up for a second please let me explain to you Move up for a second, please, because you exposed your racism earlier. So give me a second. Everything prior to Islam and Muhammad receiving revelations have been hidden. Is this what you're saying? No, no. What the history part, so right? So let's history, just go. Let's, let me just take so you back. What, to prove, what history, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So what history prior to Islam hasn't no, been hidden? No. Okay, first of all, the the how the pyramids were built, yeah, have now been proven that they were, that they were fired on place there, right? Second of all, God says in the Quran, wherever he speaks about the stars and moon in the Quran, he says the word Sahara, which means um, he teaches that the pyramids were harnessing light, right? He was teaching, the Quran teaches as the pyramids were making energy, they were harnessing lights. Everywhere he mentions the stars and moon, he uses the word Sakara. Sakara is the oldest, um, is the oldest pyramid in Egypt, right? 35,000 years old, right? So that can take you back there. Other than that, I can tell you this, all pyramids face towards the Kaaba, right? Even the Great Pyramid, um, uh, uh, Giza, knowledge, they face the knowledge, 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 Go knowledge, check knowledge. it. Brother, 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 brother. What do the pyramids got to do with life's question? Because the, the, the ancients were advanced technology, technology people uh, harnessing energy, giving free energy. Why is that not important? It's one of the most important things. If you can give free food scripture. and water to... Knowledge, 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 knowledge. Were the Egyptians pagans? Pardon? Were they pagans? Who, the Egyptians? Yes. You you, it depends who, which Egyptians are you talking about? The Egyptians that they're talking about that they're just trying to tell us about now? Or the prior Egyptians who used to believe in spirituality, right? You know, main, mainly you have to understand. Did they used to believe in Allah? Yeah, they used to believe in oneness of God. Of course, they no, did. if Allah. you go back to looking at... Go look at the Bantu tribe. They even have a place called Bakka that used to be a holy place, right? Bakka used to be, Makkah used to be called Bakka before it was called Makkah. So the ancients uh, were already oh worshipping here. The ancients what? were worshipping here before knowledge, Islam knowledge, even came. Knowledge, 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 knowledge. Solomon's temple what faces previous the Kaaba. Scriptures, knowledge. What previous scriptures do your Quran mention that confirms it? Please stay on topic. What do you mean what previous scriptures confirms what? Is it, the previous scriptures the Quran. Isn't the Quran, is it, is the it Quran the says that Jesus on, did not on, die on, on the on. cross, yeah? Knowledge, knowledge, calm down. Is it the Quran, the final revelation? 100%. Okay, so <clears throat> if it's the final revelation, that means it has to be previous revelations, right? Yeah, that is. Okay, now where are the previous revelations before your Quran? Torah. The Torah. The Torah. Yeah. So the Torah is authentic. Yeah. Okay, the, Thor the Torah is authentic. Yeah. Even, even, even you have oh, to understand okay. the Bible. Okay. So the Torah is authentic. Is the Torah right before the Quran or is it some other revelation in between that? No, Jesus came in between. Okay. So is the, is Jesus' revelation authentic? 
we don't have all this is the problem with jesus's uh um the bible right this is where you have hold on wait real quick wait hold on real quick real quick hold on wait real quick real quick because he just said you just said the torah is authentic you said the torah is authentic right right okay okay gonna be on that prophet hold on knowledge hold on knowledge hold up you said the torah is authentic okay cool the Torah is authentic. All right, cool. Who who pulled Joseph out of the pit, according to the Quran? Off the top of my head, I can't tell you unless I go and read it. Was it his but brothers or was it somebody else? What's that? Who pulled Joseph out of the pit, according to your Quran? Was it his <laughs> what is was it his brothers or was it somebody else? No, who you mean where after they threw him in the well? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, some of the travelers took him, didn't they? All right. Now, who pulled Joseph out of the pit according to the Bible? The Torah. Um, I can't tell you off the top of my head. His brother. Okay. So, so, so if the Torah is authentic, then what's going on here? What happened? Why do we have a problem? No, but, no, but you're, 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 you're talking like, you know, the only book that's ever been preserved in its original form and the reason why the Quran, the God only gave us a Quran because of one reason and that was because all the scriptures before had been tampered with, right? I thought that's you just said the Torah God... was authentic. I thought you just said the Torah was authentic. Yeah, but this, you know, at the end of the day, it's not one million percent at the end of the day. You know, this is this is the reason why we have the Quran. Why would I need the Quran? Wait, wait, wait. Why would I need the Quran? Now it's not a million, if, if not a million any, percent. No, 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 you're wrong. Right. You're wrong because if any previous scriptures were one million percent authentic, the God would never send the Quran. He would have left what was here. The reason for the Quran is because it's been tampered with. You need to go look at the Nicaea. Where the where was the Bible written? Who written? Is the, the Torah? Torah no. So is the Torah authentic or not, bro? No, it's not going to be word for word if you're saying that that says brother and that says that. The Quran is right. The reason why God sent the Quran is because the Jewish people started tampering with religion. Right. So, you okay, so now you've changed your point. Okay, cool. So yeah. now you've changed your point. The Torah no, because the is not, we still so the Torah no. is not authentic. If it's, if it's, if it's in part yeah. and some of it is, some of it is, no, and some of it isn't, then that means it's right. not authentic. No book so, is exactly how God sent it besides the Quran. That is a clear statement. Wow, 100%. no book is exactly. Okay, yeah, I'm so interrupt no you for a sec. Listen right. to what he just said. No book is yeah. exactly how it's sent except the quran look at islam nothing is Whoa. verifiable and established in 100 percent correct except for the quran all there was a book that revelation... shows how the pyramids were built all right. sure. okay be quiet all of god's revelation according to muslims you, the muslims, previous... muslims built all the world that you see the attack all right all right goodbye manifest the muslims built here. the world <laughs> look look, man, man, look manifest you little manifester me. hold on man you just heard me trying to talk over him as soon I'm as listening. i drop him that doesn't mean you can talk right now bro let me get my statement off please all right thank you bro i appreciate it so listen according to him all of god's revelations prior to the quran were is is none of it is authentic is is, is uh, uh, uh verifiable it's all in part it's all partially inauthentic some of it is authentic some of it isn't all history is skewed except for the islamic history derived in the sixth century through muhammad everything else you're gonna have to go through with the with the with the magnifying glass until you see a word that says this is the truth using your biased position after you've accepted the quran wow guys wow guys this is islam the one who claims prior to it is what establishes it and then when you try to do that nope all of that history is no longer you can't trust it the only way you can actually dissect it is if you just come at it with a biased brain reading the quran and whatever you see you don't like that doesn't match up with the Quran, you know that that's not true. Beautiful. What a beautiful religion. What a beautiful religion. Go ahead, Ron. Right, so you uh, wanted me to state an uh, historical evidence 
that is prior to Quran that proves that uh yeah it's that, establish, that, that establishes the coming of okay. Islam. So Jesus is Latinized, right? The word Jesus. Brother, just make your point. What is what and what authentic? What authentic? Because you guys like to spoke, ask questions and loop spoke, around somewhere else. I'm giving you he spoke points. Aramaic. He spoke the language of Aramaic. Doesn't that, matter what language he spoke. Make what your does, point, what does what does what uh, does God mean in Aramaic? Does it, it matter? Means, it, means, it means Allah. Does it? Are you no, don't don't it does that. mean don't Allah. Even, don't even worry about. That's gonna take us somewhere else. It doesn't matter what language he spoke. It doesn't matter what it God does. means in Arabic. It, none of that matters. Make your point. Not in what Arabic, in Aramea. The language that What authentic history do you have prior to Islam? Yeah, this is uh, an historical evidence. That establishes the coming of Islam. What do you have? Search it up, brother. What do you have, bro? Yeshua, which is Latinized to Jesus, in Aramaic, which Jesus spoke, is God. How does that establish the coming Allah. of Islam? Because he, he prayed like the other prophets. Where? It means that he worshipped Allah. Where did he do that? Spirit. Where did Jesus pray like the other prophets? Where did he do that? Yeah, he did because Islam is a truthful re religion. Where do you where where do you find he prayed like the other Adam. prophets? Where do you find that he prayed like the other prophets? Because it's, it's, if, if Islam is a truthful religion and Allah means God in uh, Aramaic, the language that Jesus spoke, it means that he worshipped the only one, which is Allah, God. Are y'all all like, like, uh, look, what grade level is it is in like learning Islam? Like, for example, right, if if I were to have a conversation with an, with an adult, right, I would ask him, did you pass the second grade or did you drop out in the second grade? So like, I'm asking you, in Islamic studies, did you drop out in the second grade? I'm not a, I don't study theology. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, no, nobody here studies theology. So what are you up here debating me for? What are you up here debating me for? Because I do. You wanted an historical uh, evidence. You haven't given me anything. I stated anything. one. You haven't given me anything. It's compared to what other people. You don't even know where you got Jesus prayed like other Muslims from. I assume that. We're not talking about assumptions. Yeah, but I'm just making a logical explanation here. If Allah means God in his language, then that necessarily means he worshiped God, such as every Muslim does, which is yeah, all. Go back, go, back, go back to school, bro. All right. Go back to Islamic studies, man. Hey, Ron. Assumptions. Ron. Yeah. What life is trying to say, ask, is what type of verification do you have to substantiate the coming of your religion? And what verification do you have that proves that uh, bibl biblical uh, words are more truthful than Torah? or other religious books that were uh, uh, sent down to earth from God. I love how they know what's, I love how they know ex immediately, right, what to refer to and what to denounce without us even having to say anything. They're like, right, like they're, 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 they're brainwashed, they're, they're, when you they're, don't brainwashed have they're brainwashed and in, it's embedded in their brains just to denounce the previous scriptures just because. Notice how in this entire conversation, no one has ever said, hey, prove to me the scriptures of the Bible are authentic and that they prove your religion. No one is saying that. But yet and still, you guys keep going to the Bible when no one has ever said you have to go to the Bible. No one even said that your Quran is talking about the Bible. Why is that? You guys need to really think about why do you guys do that? No one ever told you guys to go to the Bible, bro. And yet you guys still subconsciously do it. It's sad. That means you know that your previous scriptures literally are the Bible. But you just turn around and denounce them. That's it. It's, it's very sad, bro.
very sad. Yeah, we don't deny every word of the Bible. As the lady before mentioned, it's not 100% authentic, but we still, is the word of God. Hey, Ron, can I test hey, that Ron. theory? I, I just want to test that theory out the word and I. Um, so, Ron, in the Injil, can you give me one authentic verse? Just one authentic verse in the Injil. No, I cannot. But you said not all of it was corrupted, right? Yet you're not even able to give one verse from this Injil that is uncorrupted. Think about what my brother life was just saying to you. Right. And then on top of that, Chris, let's say you knew me and 70% of what I told you was true, but 30% was a lie. Would you believe anything I have to say if you found out at least 30% of what I was telling you was a lie? Wouldn't that bring into question the other 70%? Okay, there's verses about uh, heaven and hellfire. Yeah, I believe in that. You what? He's you actually say, he's trying to get a verse that talks about heaven and hell. So go ahead and go to the Injil. Provide me the verse that speaks about heaven and hell, and you affirm that that verse is from the original original Injil. Go ahead. Should, should I search it up? Yeah, because you're probably going to go to the book of Revelations, right? But even then, Revelation isn't even the Injil. Nope, but he's going to go to it just to say it is. <laughs> it's crazy. Hey, brother, life. I got. Uh, can I yo, say? Yo, a few yo. I, I need to say a few things to the audience. Can I do that for you, brother? Oh yeah, it's all good, man. Something been off, man, for an hour, man. I, I ain't been feeling right. <laughs> I the math just ain't mathing up to me, brother. The math just ain't mathing up to me. We done got almost 140 people up in here right now. We only got 20k likes. What y'all not like my man life up here? What y'all don't want to show my man life some love? Oh, y'all need to be showing my man life some love. Y'all need to 434 that screen. That's right, y'all. You need to treat that screen like you fear disobedience. But I don't want you breaking that phone, y'all. You better grab yes, that. Sir. <laughs> Grab that miss whack that's right beside y'all. Just yeah, tap that. Yeah, tap, 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 tap. Discipline it lightly, y'all. Because if you don't, oh, we know you secretly smooched that black stone. Don't out yourself, y'all. Show this man some love. Let's go. That's we should have right. been at 100,000 by now, man. Everybody can do it. Teamwork, man. Let's get that. Let's get them lights up. Oh, and also, Life, I just want to point out to uh, the Muslims in the audience. Uh, notice that when I come up on stage initially, I muted my mic. So just, you know, just a heads up for all you Muslims that come up on the stage. Mute your mic. Yeah, they come straight up and just start talking. That, that, that always amazes me. But um, yeah, Ron, Ron, you need to. I think you do need to do some more studying. Zaid, how's it going? Or uh, yo, it's good. It's good. The shush emoji guy. E either one of you guys can talk. What's up? Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up? You said bring you up. You're up. What's going yeah. on? Yeah. So um, for the question about the uh previous revel uh, revelation before the Quran, so when people were trying to answer, you said that. They weren't allowed to use the Quran, which we believe in, to, as a reference. But we also couldn't use the Bible, which you believe in, as a reference. So what would you like us to do? I don't know. That's what you got to ask yourself. What can you do? That's really honestly the question. 
But okay. if we can't, but if we can't use what uh, you're believing, and also uh, use what Allah provided us with, then why like, would you use what I believe just to turn around and denounce it? That's the point, right? I'm not gonna verify my religion with the Quran and then turn around and say, but I don't believe in the Quran, right? Because because, or, because you're example, not letting right? us because you're but not letting me, us use what we uh, what we were given. That's yeah, why. but you don't you don't accept it though, right? Like I don't accept the Quran as the word of God, right? So if somebody said, hey, look, prove the virgin birth happened, right? No, I'm no, not no, gonna, no. No, no, no. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me give you an example really quick. If somebody said, prove the virgin birth, right? I'm not going to go to the Bible and then turn around and go to the Quran and say, look, see the virgin birth, right? Right. Uh, actually, oh, okay. Happened. Yeah. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Because. Fair the okay. Good point. Good point. But also, but also, if you, but, um, if you're not going to, like, if you're not going to let us use the Quran, but also not let us use the Bible or the Torah which I guess everyone here is kind of easy. The question is about, the, the question is about, but the question is about prior to the Quran. So it's not that I'm not letting you use the Quran. The Quran can be established in the conversation later if what was prior to the Quran that the Quran is claiming authenticates itself can also be established as well. So the, the question would be, can you establish that fact first and then go ahead and use the Quran? But what you're trying to do, right? And I've had this conversation a couple of times. What you're trying to do is go to the Quran and say, look at everything else. And then you're just going to ignore the fact that this question can't be answered. So you're going to try to just get me to, bel to believe in blind faith that these prior scriptures actually did align with Islam. That doesn't, it's, it's not the question that I'm asking you. Okay. I'm just, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not asking that. So you need to give me prior scripture or whatever you got to prove the coming of Islam with something authentic, not something that you don't believe in. Don't go into what I believe, go into what you believe. That's what I'm asking for. Okay, 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 fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so I see where you're coming from, okay. Also, I just wanted to say, uh, I forgot who it was, maybe you remember, the person that said like 90% of the Bible is true and 10%, as me as a Muslim, uh, I can't really believe that she said that because that doesn't really make sense because it's like saying like, you believe, uh, you believe in, um, you believe in the Bible, but you don't believe in the Bible in the same sense. So I don't really know what she meant by that. If if I don't really like, do you know? I mean, that's like me saying I believe in fifty percent of the Quran and the other fifty percent is false. You guys wouldn't even want to have a conversation with me. Yeah. So. yeah. Also, uh, am I allowed to ask a question about Christianity? But it, seems, or? but it seems like Muslims are the only ones that can take scriptures in part when your Quran says don't do that. Uh, okay. That's what you guys uh, do. Well, um, they, you know, we, we may entertain a question about Christianity, but right now we're talking about the previous scripture. So could you identify for us what the Injil is? Like, where was it in history? What do you believe the Injil is? So from what I know, um, the Injil was when Prophet Isa a.s was alive he uh allah sent him as a messenger right to um say to like spread islam from what i know but also also i just sorry before i finish what i was gonna say islam isn't like islam is just believing that there's one god and you don't like believe in idols and anything anyways as i was gonna say was uh so which was called the injil and when he was spreading no, it they, we believe that your Quran says that Allah give Isa the Injil. That's not the question. The question would be, and it would be in relative to Surah 548, where it says, let the people of the Injil judge by what Allah has revealed therein. So what we need is, what are the contents of the Injil? Give us some of the teachings. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. With, with all due respect, didn't you just say uh, you can't use a book that you don't believe in and you don't believe in the Quran, so why are you using it? I'm not, I'm saying it you just to... Said sort of 548. But we're, I'm using it to bolster our question because you didn't understand the question. <clears throat> the question we're asking is, can you show us the contents of the Injil? Uh, wait, party, can you repeat that again? I was just reading some comments. Yeah, so can you show us the content 
of the NGO? Mm, I don't believe so, no. Go on. So you don't believe that you could show any content of the NGO whatsoever? The original NGO? Yes. Uh, no. Could they, could they have showed the content of the original Injil at the time of Muhammad? Um, to be honest, I, I know this is kind of crazy to say, but it's kind of an answer for the scholar. So, like, let's say he came 500 years after. I, pro I, I honestly don't know. I'd have to go very hard back into history, but yeah. Okay, so... As of right now, life or the word, whoever wants to have the discussion with him, um, he can't show us any content of the Injil. Should we ask for any of the content of the Torah? Yeah, right. let's go ahead and ask that. What does he have? Do you, do you have any contents of the Torah? As yeah, well? so, yes, 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 yes. So from what I know, uh, the Torah, as they believe in one God, we as we do too, that's again, Dade, Dade, again, the question isn't what is the Torah? The question no, I'm is saying inside of the Torah, it states the, that there's one God, which we also where, believe in. Where in the Torah does it state that? Search that up right now. Yeah, where, where would you look to say the Torah teaches belief in one God? Where would you look? Chris, can I ask you a question? Um, NBA young boy. Right hmm? now, I'm having a discussion with Zay. Okay, in the Torah, yeah. it's uh, from what I just read, sixty-four, <laughs> uh, four. O is O is real. Deuteronomy six four. Oh, here Are you going? Are you going to the Bible? No, no, no. I'm going to the Torah. Oh. So Deuteronomy isn't in the Bible? Pardon? The book of Deuteronomy isn't in the Bible then? Uh, what's the book of Deuteronomy? Well, that's the, the book and chapter that you're quoting from. Deuteronomy 6, 4, right? Sure, Israel, sure. Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one, correct? The Shema? Yes. yes. That comes from the book of Deuteronomy, correct? Sure. The book of Deuteronomy is in what is called the Bible, correct? Okay, then according. Okay, so from what you just told me, maybe I didn't know. Yes, we. Uh, that is, we do believe in that there is one God, and yes. So you believe that the book of Deuteronomy in the Bible is the original uh, Torah? No, I just told you one verse. Was... Okay, so you believe that Deuteronomy six four in the Bible is a part of the original Torah? Yes. How do you know this? Um, number one, since... Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, no, no, no. I, what, what I was trying to say was that um, the Torah, that verse, sorry, the, what, the Deuteronomy you said, that was... Uh, that was a, a Islamic belief. I, I didn't know you were asking that it was uh, in its original context. You're saying that it's an Islamic belief. But what I'm, my question to you would be, how can you prove that Deuteronomy 6.4 is a part of the original Torah? Oh, okay. Um, I don't think you can. So you just threw a verse out there without any type of evidence. So basically what you're saying... Well, I mean, obviously, as a Muslim, I don't know more about done. the Torah than the Quran. I'm almost so done, Zayd. I... Zayd. Zayd, I'm almost done. So basically what you're telling me, life, and the word and I, is exactly what life said roughly about 10 to 15 minutes ago. For us to believe in the Quran, we must believe in blind faith. Because there's no true evidence for the Torah nor the Injil, as you've just stated, out of your own mouth, correct? So, you can't really say that there's no evidence, because, like, you're basically, like, as I already said, you're basically cutting out the part 
uh, that we believe in and also the part that you believe in. So we can't really prove anything. There's no proof of Abraham. So are we blind faith in Abraham with the Torah? Exactly. So this is the problem with what happened last time. Uh, we're not asking the question in that way. So please rephrase the statement as if you understood the conversation or, or do you not understand it and you want me to explain it again? Do you think that's what we're doing, Sunni? Y'all explain. All right, cool. So your Quran establishes itself on the basis of what came before it, correct? Uh-huh. Okay. Islam didn't start in the sixth century, correct? True. Yes. Okay, cool. Which means that there had to have been scriptures, revelation, prophets before Muhammad, because Muhammad is the final prophet or the seal. Yes. And the Quran is the quote unquote final testament in correlation with the Torah and the Injil and the previous scriptures that the other previous scriptures that your Quran mentions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So in a nutshell, we're asking for the authentic sources of that to establish the coming of Islam, because that's what those scriptures do according to your religion. So, so you we're want not, so we're not asking questions like prove there were people at Muhammad's house that didn't leave on time. So Allah revealed this revelation, prove that people were even there. Okay. We're not asking that. We're literally asking for the evidence that the Quran claims for itself to establish itself. I'll okay, okay. Let me give you a claim. I'm hearing a bunch of crickets. Who's going to answer? I got my money on scientific miracles. He's going to come up with. I feel like he's going to say the Quran. That I I I had that sneaky feeling as well. <laughs> Somebody going to say it. Yeah, but I'm narrowing it down for scientific miracles. <laughs> I guess while we're waiting on him, uh, Hush Man with the three Hush right under Chris Claus. He got, no a, he got, a, perfect, he got a perfect name because he ain't said a word. He ain't said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, shut the fuck up, you dumb bastard. Oh, that's, that's why. That's, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> he was waiting on his love. He been waiting on his opportunity. Like, waiting what, on his little I, time I, to shine, man. What what type of life do you really have to have to sit up and alive for as long as that person did just to say that to be kicked out? <laughs> he was waiting, he was waiting on his little time, man. Chris. What's up, young boy? What's up? Can you answer one or two questions? Uh, maybe one. I don't know if I listen. Can Can God die? Hold on, Sunni's back. Sunni's back. Sunni, go ahead. Uh, and then you ask that low tier question. Sunni, mm -hmm. go ahead. We can argue Matthew twenty six thirty nine. Is Matthew authentic? In your belief, yes. How long you been here, man? I ain't been here long enough to know that. <laughs> oh, man. That's, so not what we, that's crazy. All right. So, wait. It's authentic to me. Okay, cool. So, do you believe Jesus was cru crucified according to Matthew, like you said? I said in your belief, not in ours. Okay, thank you. So, let's not use Matthew then because I'm not asking you to authenticate Islam using my belief. Because I don't believe Muhammad is prophesied anywhere in the Bible, nor is he prophesied anywhere in Matthew. And I also believe the the account of the crucifixion. So if you're going to use Matthew, then you know we're just going to start, you know, you know, playing hopscotch. So give me something authentic, man. Don't don't go to Matthew if you don't believe Matthew. But Chris, but Chris pointed out Surah Al Maida with not without uh, knowing with with trying to refer to Matthew. Why can't he? Again, 
Zaid, I went to Sura 548 to bolster our question. Our question was simply about the content of the Injil. That was all. I didn't question you about Sura 548. Not at all. Can I can I take this chance and just uh, dumb it down? Like, bring it to... Maybe it's just too high of a question. Like, let's get it down to a little bit lower tier, right? Okay. Let's, let's get it down to let's young boy level. Right. Let's get it down <laughs> to NBA young boy level. Like, can God die? Yeah. yeah can we're, God die? We're asking... Answer listen, that question. Listen, 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 NBA young boy. Listen. Yeah. Very, very carefully. All the Muslims. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to authenticate... Pretend I'm a Muslim. And I wanted to authenticate my religion. And my book says that there's previous scriptures that my scriptures is the final revelation of. And that my prophet is the seal of previous prophets. So I would have to find these previous prophets in this previous, previous scripture to actually verify my religion. How will I do that without using my own religion as the answer? Which ones, which, how would I do that? Listen, all I asked was, can God die, yes or no? Man, this dude, I'm sorry, like, can't do it no more. Sunni, Zay. Yo. How can me being a Muslim verify <laughs> my religion as being true because my prophet is the seal of previous prophecy and my scriptures okay, okay, okay. is the revelation okay, okay, okay. of previous revelation what okay. can I use to verify that I'm following the right religion okay so uh, for this question am I allowed to use my book or am I also not allowed to use it for this question no, because I'm trying to authenticate my book. I know what I got, and I know I believe in what I got. But how can I authenticate what I have? Like you're saying, how can I prove that my religion is right? Outside of using just my religion, because that's confirmation bias in a circular argument. If I just use my religion to prove, I mean, my book to prove my religion. When my own book tells me that it is a seal, is the final revelation of previous scriptures. So I gotta see which previous scriptures what if it predicts my book that, is talking what about. What if it predicts things that it was basically impossible to predict 1400 years ago, but is only found 50 years ago? Could that count? Listen, listen what to what I'm saying. Mean? That don't mean nothing. Yeah, listen to what I'm saying. Okay, okay. I can first I have to question? establish. You, hold on. You, At first, you, hold on, Zay. Okay. Zay, hold on. Okay, okay. I first have to establish that I'm even in the right religion, that I am practicing and following the right religion, because my own book tells me that it is a fulfillment of previous scriptures. Sure. Okay, uh, what if I what if I ask the same question? Can you can you or no? I what as a Christian? Yes, I definitely can. But can you? That's the, that's the question. Wait, since you definitely can, uh, my bad. I don't think the live is about me answering questions. But can you do that? Or... Do you want an example of how I can do it? Yeah, are you gonna use the Bible? Because you just told me I couldn't use the Quran. Yeah, but. But, but my Bible fulfills itself. My Bible doesn't reflect back to any other book. If my Bible says that it's a fulfillment of yeah. Hinduism or Buddhism, then I would have to go to Buddhists to see what their previous scripture said and did it foretell the coming of my Bible. But my Bible doesn't do that. My Bible don't lean on any other scripture outside of itself. Yours does. What our what our Bible does do though is that Jesus says that Moses and the prophets spoke about me. So we can go to the Old Testament where Moses and the prophets spoke about the coming of Jesus. 
So we can do that. So when your book makes a claim, can you provide the evidence for it just like we can? Yes. And how would you do that? Zay. Uh, she's she was the one that said yes. You can ask, you can ask her. Oh, she went on mute. So I'm asking you. The the question was to you, or to Sunni. What? We'll get to her in a minute. The so question how is, can you? So the question how is, can you do? It? Wait. So the question is, how can you prove? Um. That okay. Wait. This, there's one problem with this question is that, yeah, you can say that. Oh, but it's uh. What did you say that has to do with? The Quran has to do with Christian, uh, the Torah and the Bible, but I never mentioned the Torah and the Bible. I just said just previous said that, scriptures. That, you just said that it reflects on other religions. To I said previous scriptures. Yeah. I never said the Torah or the uh, the NG or anything like that. Yeah. I just said. Well, the reason that we believe in it. Muhammad couldn't read previous scriptures though. Exactly. Okay, so the entity. Angel Gabriel told him this message, or from directly from Allah. Are you so talking, are you talking Allah about Allah says, your Allah, uh, Hold on. Sorry, go ahead. Well, your Allah says, he mentioned the name of the previous scriptures. So, wait, sorry. Uh, when you were talking about Angel Gabriel, were you talking about when he told Prophet Muhammad to? Read and you're going to touch it. Hey, Zaid, Zaid, focus in on the actual topic that we're talking about. We're talking about the contents of the previous scripture, the Injil, the Zabur, or the Torah. That's what we're talking about. We don't want to go off on tangents. The Word and I was giving you an explanation, but you have to focus in on what he's explaining to you. So a quick question from me to you would be, if we seen in the bible where jesus said moses um prophesied me by name and then when we went to the book of moses and we didn't find the name of jesus would you say that that's a false prophecy like uh, can you please repeat that so if we went to the bible and g and we saw where jesus said moses prophesied about me or Moses spoke about me and then we go to the books of Moses and we do not find any description of Jesus whatsoever could we say that Jesus made a false statement at that point of course excellent so in your Quran your God Allah state Isa ibn Maryam states that there's going to be a prophet that comes after him and his name will be Ahmed. So can you show us where Isa ibn Maryam made this prophecy of Ahmed? If not, we can then say Muhammad or whoever wrote that verse in the Quran was lying because you just agreed previously to the same scenario. Uh, uh, Isa ibn Maryam says that after the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, there will be a new prophet where where is that? And his name no, that's would be. Not what he said. But that's not what Chris had said though. Yeah, he you did. misheard what he said. No, he literally just he literally just said. Isa no, ibn he said Ibn that Isa, he said that Isa ibn Maryam said that a prophet would come after him. This is what your Quran claims. That this is what Isa said. Not that it'll be another prophet after Muhammad, but after Isa. But after Jesus. And um, yeah, so. so I need you to show me where Isa in the Angel says that Ahmed will come after him. I need to see that. Or as you just said in the last scenario, we can deem whoever revealed that verse as a liar. So can you the show me Isa, this. can you show me where Isa uh, predicted or prophesied the coming of Ahmed, please. Sure. Can I answer this? No, well, just Not, a sec. Yeah, it's they want to let anyone else talk, so it's kind of well, nice. We're having a discussion with Zaid. He just said, sure, 
he can give me the reference where Issa... Yeah, but then you, you're both like... Is coming out. To speak, no, but I'm and then also no Muslim, so I can answer, no? Just so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. God is great, go ahead. What you got? You, you let me answer. I, I came in to speak on what... You keep going on mute. You can't, if you okay. leave the... If you leave the app, we can't hear you. God is great. Yeah, I don't know why she. I don't. I don't know why she keeps saying we didn't let nobody. We haven't let nobody speak. I don't know. I don't know where she yeah, get that from. Yeah, okay, I'll ask you. Let me answer now. Go ahead, Islami. Okay, you say that it says in the Quran that there's gonna be another person named Ahmed in the NGO. Yes, that's your claim. No, that's your Quran's claim. But your, no, but that's claim your claim. That, you're you're, you're telling us to justify this. My no, where, where does it say? Quran where does it say? Islamic. Hold on here, man. My claim is that your Quran makes a claim. Okay, your okay. Quran makes a claim that Isa Ibn Maryam prophesied the coming of a person named Ahmed. I yes. would like that prophecy of the person named Ahmed, please. Where, where does he state the prophecies in? Yeah, I was about to say that. Where did he state that? Yeah. He said that Isa Ibn Maryam stated this. I would like to know where he stated it. I'm not saying said that. Hold I'm on, not wait, providing wait, wait, wait. where it is. So basically, you want us to find a verse which you don't know where it is. You're supposed to, you're supposed to provide the reference, but you can't yeah. just say a verse and expect your this. God, your God in the Quran makes which the claim verse, which verse? that Isa Ibn Maryam will... Which yes, yes, yes. uh, we're, we're, okay. we're asking you another question. We're asking you, do you want us to find this random verse that you're talking about for you, or are you going to reference it for us? What do you mean, what random verse? You don't give know what the verse. verse. Give, give us the about. verse since it's such a popular verse. Do you not know which verse you're talking about? What? Are you finding it? Well, just give me one second. I got to go to my okay, computer. Okay. It's weird that Muslims are starting to deny their own Quran. I never denied it. I'm saying find the bus. So, we never denied it, number one. You, it's so, kind of like you just expect it. making false claims. We never, foremost, we never denied it. First and foremost, I'm going to get the verse and I'm going to read it. But will you agree that in your Quran, it states that Isa ibn Maryam... Yeah, I will agree. I will agree. If he must the prophet to come after him, and his name will be Ahmed. Does your Quran say that? Yes. Of course. Find the verse now. Find the verse. We you, you, you still yes, haven't heard the verse. Say. Yes, of course it says it. We haven't heard the verse. You haven't told us. I'm telling you the verse. Sixty-one okay. verse six. Sixty-one verse six. Okay. Now show me the verse where Isa mentions Ahmed. What's going on here? Are you looking for that verse? <laughs> we haven't even read the verse yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Relax. You're talking about 61.6? Okay, okay, okay. Can you bring uh, up give you answer answer for it? Give me an answer to this. Actually, give me answer 61 verse 6. I don't can, can I answer this, please? Go ahead. Go ahead. 16, did you, yeah, did yeah. you see okay. what it okay. said? Okay. That, that Maryam said that a prophet was to come after him. And you said his let, name let was Ahmed? Hold on, wait. What happened to Ahmed? Where's Ahmed? Can you read okay, no, the tough scene? No, Ahmed, Ahmed's in the bus, but let me, let me explain this. Let me explain this. Uh, the, one, one of our Nabi's names, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is Ahmed. Now, now you have nothing to say. The question is, what? where did Isa ibn Maryam mention one to come after him and his name is Ahmed? Where did Isa ibn Maryam say that? It says it in the Quran. You can't, you can't go by your laws. Isa ibn Maryam doesn't speak in the Quran. The Quran is Allah's speech, not Isa ibn Maryam. Yeah, the Quran, Allah is telling you what Isa ibn Maryam said. He's not, he's not claiming. He's where saying, did he this? He's telling so you what Isa ibn Maryam said. So, so is what he said that in the Quran. Look, Wait, if you reject the Quran, he, then you cannot he, accept this, obviously. So, but, 
Show us where he said that in the Quran. You said it's in the Quran. You just gave the verse. Show us. No, 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 no. The no. second word now, it says, and when Jesus, son of Mary, said. So this is something that Jesus, the son of Mary, said. So we want to know where he said this. In the Quran, like you said. No, it says when no. he So this is. This is quoting something that Isa Ibn Mary said. What he said, yes. We it's want the what actual he reference to what he said. Where is what he said? Look, listen, listen, listen. What you're saying is that give us an explicit verse that Isa is talking himself. Is that what you're trying to ask? If you read the tafsir, it says Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's name is also Ahmed. No problem. So where did you say this? Yeah, where did look, look, say look. You're being ignorant. You're not. You're not. You're not, you're not being sincere. The, the verse is telling. The verse is telling you that Isa ibn Maryam said this. Allah subhanahu wa taala is telling you Isa ibn Maryam said this. You reject. All right. Okay. So the first. So law, the thing is. The thing is. Real quick, Chris. Real quick. The thing is, when did Isa ibn Maryam live? Was it when during the live? time of the, was it during the time that your Quran was revealed, or was it before your Quran was revealed? It was before. Okay, so that means that he said this before your Quran was revealed. Where would he have said this at? Where could we find him saying this? In the tafsir. Was the tafsir written at the time of Isa? No, but it gives context for it. The Quran. Okay, okay so where would Isa say this? The Quran. Where? Yo, okay, salam so alaikum. Now say something real quick. Say this. The Quran. Where? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, um, say something real quick. Echo, bro. Say this. The Quran. Where? Oh, yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, um... Isn't echo. Anyways. The Quran. Oh, yeah. Why You gotta, you gotta swipe up and, and swipe out the app and come back. You gotta echo. Wait, oh, uh, I just had a quick question. I forgot, I don't know which one of you said it, but someone said, um, was it at the time of where, is that book at the time of where uh, Prophet Isa says this? You do realize that a book can mention it, a book doesn't have to refer to anything that's happening at the live pre, uh, presence of when the book is wrote, uh, written. This is talking about when Isa ibn Maryam was on no, earth. I'm talking about the verse. I'm talking about when someone said, "Oh, but is the tafsir written at the same time as when?" Hey, don't Isa worry says, about the comments. Are you pulling it? Why not? Are you pulling? Are you pulling a Joe Biden up here, Zaid? Me and even. Are you pulling? Are you pulling a Joe Biden up here, Zay? Right, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Why him? I, you I, gotta go down and I, come back, bro. You got a, a bad echo. Request back up, YFM, because you got a bad echo. All right. Yo, my bad. Thank you. I was just gonna ask you: um, Is it true that the Bible was written three hundred years after Jesus was uh, Jesus lived? Are you gonna answer the question regarding to your Quran? Yeah, but can you answer the question I'm asking you first? After you answer my question. What, what, what's the question? In verse in sixty one six in your Quran, Allah reveals. Hold on, hold on, Zay. Allah reveals that Isa ibn Maryam said that there will be a prophet to come after him whose name is Akbar. Yeah. Where will we find that reference? Okay, right. can I answer this question? All right, let's go, Zaid. Test go ahead, it Zaid. Okay. Uh, so it's in the Injil, which we don't have today. As we've already mentioned, it's been corrupted. Okay, so how can you verify that Isa ibn Maryam actually said this? 
How can you prove the Dead Sea Scrolls proved anything about Moses? It was written a thousand years after him. Bro, 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 bro. Can you speak to the topic, please. We're not. Stick We're giving you topic. an reference. Stick to the topic. Zay, where can you can we find Isa and Ben Miriam say that a prophet named Ahmed is to come after him. Well, I already told you we don't have it today. How can I say that if we don't have it today? Okay, so we don't have it. So you can't verify this. Thank you for admitting the Quran was wrong then because in the scenario you, you agreed to, I said if Jesus said Moses spoke about him and we went and looked and we couldn't find it, then you yeah, would... I have I have an example of that where I have so to there's 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 die and okay, You hear me there. speaking. You really actually hear me speaking, don't you? And you just come up here and started belting out stuff again. So in the same instant, when you're you coming, you're gonna ask question too. Hello, all you have to do is say, hello, how y'all doing? And stay on mute until it's your time to go. He doesn't know that we're on mods and I'll just drop them. And I'll bring them back up. He, he gotta learn how to mute his mic. But in the same sense, Aid, mm -hmm. when the Quran makes a claim, and we are unable to find the evidence that this Quran speaks of. We must say that the Quran is lying unless we can find the evidence. Uh, okay. So, sorry, I, I just have a question. Uh, as you've already, as I've already said before, if Allah didn't like ask us to say anything about this, so, like, why would we need to? Because this is the way that you verify your prophet to come. Because, believe me, if Jesus was to ever say, or if it was in previous scriptures, that I actually saw Jesus say that there is a prophet that comes after him named Ahmed, and I can actually find this, then I would have no other choice but to become a Muslim. Okay, can I ask okay. you something? Can I ask can you I something? Where would you go to look for it? If Jesus did say that, where would you go to look for it? Where would you go? I, I told you, we, we go to the Quran, but where would you go? No, the Quran is telling you. No, I'm asking you now. You don't answer the question. Miriam, if Jesus said this to me, you, where would you go? I would, I would look in my Bible because there exactly, the exactly. So now you're saying you look in your holy book. When we say we look in okay. our holy book, you reject it. The word no, 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 no. Because wrong, your holy book wasn't written, wasn't revealed at the time that Esau supposedly said this. Now they're gonna say this is the final holy book. We don't book. have the. We don't have the. Hey, the word holy night, book. Second, though, and no, we. What we would do if we were reading the Quran and the Quran stated that Isa ibn Maryam stated this person Ahmed was to come after him, then we would assume that Allah would mean that it, Isa ibn Maryam said this in the Injil. Okay, can I say so, something? Yes, yes, the Injil or any Muslim time. show us in this Injil where Isa ibn Maryam mentioned Ahmed. I just told you the angel of that time we don't have today. So why are you trying to ask for evidence of a book we don't have today? Okay, 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 wait. So it's so so by your admission, there no there's no way to verify this claim that's in your Quran. It's not a claim. It's not a claim. Wait, can, telling, I, say now? can I say something now? Can I say something now? Because I okay, okay, good. Why, why? Let why speak. He's a, he's a trusted brother. You, you keep muting him. He's on, he mutes him, he's not on the app. Uh, brother, stay on the uh, app. Stay on. If you go off the app, we can't hear you. Oh, stay on the app, brother. Yo. Okay. I, stay on the app. I don't know what he's doing. Yo, why yeah, he, stay on the app. We can't hear you when you're not on the app. YFM, go ahead. Well, what are you going to say, YFM? Sorry, my mic keeps messing up. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, what was your claim again, the words? Wait, wait, sorry. Uh, no, man, 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 you. Come on. I just have a, oh, sorry, no, sorry. Real quick, Zay, real quick, uh, Zay. He asked me a question. He asked me a quick question. Go ahead. Your Quran makes a claim about what Isabel Miriam says. Hold yeah, that's on. what I was about to say. How is that, that a claim? In, 
Because that's what it says. Don't it's, mind the it's not a claim, brother. It's not a claim. You know what a claim is? Oh, look, a claim is find this or I say this. You have to find it. It is. That's not a claim. He didn't. He didn't claim this. He said it. He said it. You know what the difference between like saying okay, and okay, claiming? Okay. Something. Okay. Now listen. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the same example that Chris gave. All right. If my Bible says that Jesus said that. Muhammad, I mean that Moses spoke about him by name, Jesus, and then that is a claim that my Bible is is making, my New Testament. So if I go back and reference everything that Moses said in the Old Testament, and I don't see it, that means it's unverifiable that my Bible, that my New Testament, we can't verify. Because then I would have to bring into question, well, who wrote this? Because Look, that's I don't the thing. see nothing that's like thing, that in the Old Testament. Sorry to I don't see nothing Sorry about that in the Old Testament. Sorry to so that's Sorry an to unverifiable you. claim that my that my New Testament make. Okay, sorry to interrupt you, but when we speak about our God, our Lord, we don't question our Lord. I don't know what concept you bring. You asking this because you don't you reject the Quran? Yes, you reject the Quran. Yeah. No, I'm trying to show you. No, I'm asking you, do you reject the Quran? Of course I do. I'm a Christian. So there you go. There you go. So, hold then on, we accept let, the Quran. Me, let me show you. Let me show you. Can I finish his sentence, please? No, I, I, he said that I don't accept it. So they do. So they just don't go about whatever their book is saying. No, obviously we, can't, mean, we can't question the God. Islamic. That means you have blind faith. I will go. You question them, Jesus. Come, when Jesus says something, you question hold on, let, I'm about to show you. Our God tells us, come, let's reason together. He wants us to ask questions. He wants us to seek truth, to seek the real truth. He okay. don't want us to just go around and just believe in it just because it's the, our book says it. The, the he actually not, tells us, come, you. let's reason together. Let's talk it out. Let's yeah, ask not, questions. Not, it, it, I just quickly make a comment? Go ahead, yeah, go. If the Allah that we believe in who is the most merciful and the all-knowing? What put this into your, uh, our perspective? Why would we need to question him? This is our our belief. You're not questioning a law, and that's the whole. Guys, thing. All we're doing. Asking, no, no guys, asking, just one second. Just one second, because you're blaming us for questioning the law. We're not. What we're doing is we're asking you where this prophecy is. Okay. So okay. Allah is telling you that there's a prophecy of Muhammad that Isa mentioned in the Injil. So we're asking where in the Injil is this prophecy about Muhammad? That's it, okay. that's all. Okay, the word and I, the word and I, the word and I. One of the preserved lines of Jesus' gospel, they say in Mark 1, 7, there cometh after me. Jesus said, there cometh after me he that is mightier than I. What, 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 do, you, what do you think about that? Mark 1, Whoa. 7. Mark, Mark one chapter seven. one. Who, who says that you said Jesus that's said this? Jesus supposedly, uh, supposedly prophesizes Muhammad. That, that's the not Jesus. That's that's God. Not okay, okay, go to the verse. If, if he's speaking on, the truth, you'll find it. Islamic, Islamic. I know what verse he's talking about, and that is not Jesus. That is John the Baptist speaking about Dude. Jesus coming. It's not talking, that's not Jesus speaking. So, you, do you he's reject John the Baptist? Muhammad. It is Jesus. Why would I reject John the Baptist? They're coming off you just, me. Jesus wait, he that is mightier than I. Jesus said to her, Real quick, real just, quick. Just let me make it clear. Let me make it clear, Islamic. Let me make it clear. It's John the Baptist foretelling, saying that one will come after him, meaning John the Baptist, that is greater than him join the baptist <laughs> and then if you keep reading literally the next few uh verses he identifies jesus as the one that is greater than him yeah actually i was gonna say in verse six in mark chapter one verse six and it says now john was clothed with camel's hair and wore a leather belt around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey and he preached saying after me comes he so this is john speaking 
Okay, but I just told, I just asked the brother, does he reject John the Baptist? He said no. So you accept this then? We're waiting Why for would I reject John the today? Baptist. So you accept it then? Of course, it's in my Bible. So there you go. There is someone to come after Jesus, is there not? No, he's speaking about himself. John the Baptist is speaking about himself. He's saying, because John the Baptist, I mean, it's it's hard if you don't never read the Bible and you go into it and make claims because you lack all the context. You guys always just did the John the Baptist, hold on, Jay. You just hey, made hey, the claim yourself. Hold on, Jay. Jay. I'm talking. I'm talking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. John the Baptist is baptizing people in the Jordan River. He's doing this. And he have his own little disciples that is around. And he tells them that there will be one that comes after me that is greater than me. I am not even worthy to hold his sandals. He then, literally like two verses later, he identifies Jesus as the one that was going to come after him. He okay. wasn't talking about Jesus. So nobody's coming after Jesus. He was identifying Jesus as the one that was going to come after him. Okay, can you break this down? He went on and said, I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with uh, the spirit and with fire. This is what John the Baptist is saying. Okay, okay, can you break this down for me? In Deuteronomy 18, 18, it says, I will raise up for them a prophet like you from um, a prophet like you from among their fellow Israelites, and I will put my word in his mouth. He will tell them everything I command him. Is yes. that Jesus speaking? Is that Jesus uh, talking about Ahmed? Um, wait, let me check. I'm going to read the full chapter. Is um, that Jesus is... speaking? Because Deuteronomy is uh, the Torah. That should have been the book given to Moses, right? Yeah, wait. We, we want where Isa Ibn said Miriam. That book was a part of the Bible. We want where Isa Ibn Miriam prophesies Ahmed. Listen, Chris. In the Bible, Jesus never speaks. It's always the companion. It's always his disciples narrating him. His, hey, guys. His words. Guys, I didn't say you had to go to the Bible. What the Quran states is that Isa ibn Miriam was given the Injil. Now, what okay, you're going back you to this verse now. Yeah? Is we want you guys to be consistent with your religion. Okay, in the Quran, we want you in... Guys to go to the Injil and show us where Isa ibn Miriam. Okay. I just to... told you, you said it doesn't this Injil don't exist. Why do you keep? Why do you keep persisting upon this question? Okay, okay. okay. so the Injil doesn't exist. So okay, okay. That means... you said you have to wait for hold on, hold on, real quick, YFM. That means that it is unverifiable that Jesus actually spoke these words. So, so your okay, Quran okay. that's let, let me speak. fully explain don't fully explain this verse. It's not okay, clear. Okay, can I tell you something? Because tell you something. Can't verify for you, for you, it is not clear. For you, it is not fully explained. But for us, we accept the word of Allah. We don't reject it. So now, by your beliefs, you believe it's not clear. From my belief, I believe I accept Allah. So there's, so we both have a difference here. The thing is, you have an issue with the Quran, but I don't. So okay. It's Allahu alam. It means the, only, about, only Allah knows. Islam out of it. How about if an atheist was reading the Quran, and an atheist had the question, Oh, Isa ibn Maryam was given the Injil, and then they read... Sir 61 6, where Isa ibn Miriam mentions a prophet to come after him by the name of Ahmed. Where well, this is would a you, logical point. You know where why? Would, because where, atheists don't believe in God. Listen, listen. Where would you show the atheist that Isa ibn Miriam made this statement? I just oh, told you, we believe God says this. So we can't reject it. So even if the atheist wants to reject it, he can. We don't we don't force him into our religion. No, but you said who, where can we make that claim, which is in the Quran. They, that's they what I'm saying. Say, they they, they, keep, on, they keep saying find the claim, find the claim. Hey, but when it, we yeah. ask them if you had the exact same claim, go where would you find it? They say Bible. When we say we're, Quran, we're, they keep saying, Oh, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. And the thing is, and the thing is, we're you guys nowhere. Say, we're going nowhere with this. Okay, we're going nowhere. Let's move to another verse, yeah. Uh, Instead of saying guys, stick on the same verse. Wait, wait. When no, you guys say something, it's not even a claim. Oh, Jesus wasn't alive then. 
but Jesus was in heaven and the angels was the one that was bringing down passages to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So there is, 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 a clear, is a clear line right there. No, honestly, every, uh, you, I'm, you I'm let's, let's go back to the original, original, original topic. How can you verify that the, your Quran, that Islam is, is the seal of the previous revelations? How can you verify this claim that your Quran makes? Because it is the final revelation. So what revelations come came before it? That it is the final revelation of. Are you asking us in our belief why is the Quran final revelation? You need to watch no. your right. Your Quran, your Quran makes a claim that it is the final revelation of previous revelations. Right? In, in Muhammad is the is the seal of the prophets from the previous prophets. How can you verify this claim to be true? Okay, so you want us to verify that the Quran is the final revelation. Now let me let me tell you something. When the Quran mentions these prophets, yes, and the stories of these prophets, it makes substantial claims which you reject. So if even if we give the claim that the Quran is the final revelation, you will still reject. So what's the point? And and even in your religion, John John three twelve it says, if I had to, if I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how can I how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things? Like not everything is based on evidence. You get me? Okay. So uh, can I ask you a question? Bible, can I ask you a question? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. So you is that is that verse that you just quoted out of my Bible? Is it uncorrupted? Uh, I have no idea. All I all it all it says is John three twelve. You have no I'm asking, idea. Is this Bible corrupted? But you're, you're quoting, using the but you're quoting a a book that you don't even know if it's true or not. You just quoted the Quran many times. Book, we didn't say corrupted. the Quran has never been corrupted before. See, this is this is the problem that we don't do. We don't do this when we go into your scriptures to your Quran. Even if we don't believe it, we hold it to the standard that it sets. It says that you will find Jesus, Isa, saying that there is a prophet to, uh, after him named Ahmed. And then it says other claims about it. So we just hold the book to its claims, even if we don't believe it. You, on the other hand, who try to substantiate your book, you go to other books that you don't even hold as being truthful or either it is it, even telling the truth. You deem it as being corrupt. But then when you suit your narrative, you want to lean on and go back to the same corrupt book that you just threw under the bus and says, I don't know if I can trust it. But now you're going to trust, if I can trust it. it. So don't make claims. Now, let me ask you something. So you, don't, something. you know, you know, so you can trust the, you can trust the uh, previous scriptures. Yes, in my belief, in my belief, I can trust the Quran fully. No, the previous scriptures. What do you mean if I trust the previous scriptures? You don't have them. Okay, so we don't have them. This is the point. Now, if we don't have them, how can you verify what the claims that it make about itself like 7157 that you will find the unlettered prophet because written we believe in that the Allah Torah in the so you got blind faith thank you for admitting that's all oh, you got you, is blind faith. this see you said you said you're assuming this now now let me tell you something let me tell you something you don't want to discuss your bible you've been asking questions about islam the whole time now can i ask one question about christianity would you reject this no, you don't get to ask a question about Christianity because you're avoiding the question. I said, can I ask a question about Christianity? He doesn't have any answers. He doesn't know. Yeah, and like I'm not going to have a Muslim come up here and avoid every question just to get to ask questions about the Bible. That's not going to happen. This is Loki sad. 
Yeah, that's Islam for y'all, man. Right there, alive in the flesh. Y'all see it every day. Yeah, but our books haven't been corrupted, dude. So can have to charge on. I just want to give a quick little highlight of what we've seen in the last thirty minutes, y'all. So you might just deflect what we're trying to say. You guys just tried to flip everything. Why if anything into why You do hear me speaking, though, right? Sweet. Can you mute up? Thanks, man. So just a little highlight of what we've seen the last 30, 45 minutes is the question of Surah 61.6, where Isa ibn Maryam prophesies a messenger to come after him, and his name would be Ahmed. We found out that John the Baptist, well, that's not Isa. Then we found out Deuteronomy. Then the guy realized that Jesus didn't speak about Ahmed in Deuteronomy. That was the book of Moses, not the Injil. We had to inform him about that. And then we finally got the answer. Well, the Injil just, it, it's gone. We, we just don't have it, y'all. So basically, there is no way to confirm the claims of the Quran. The word and I and life are 100% correct. You must have blind faith when it comes to the prophecies of Muhammad in the Quran. John 14, 16 will tell you exactly in the Injil where Prophet Muhammad, not by name, but has been mentioned in John 14, 16. Hey, proud, hey, proud Palestinian, proud Palestinian. How you doing, brother? Good, how are you? All right, that's how you in the state, all right? I'm sorry, say it again. That's how you enter the state. You say, hello, how y'all doing? Can I make a comment? Absolutely. Hello. How are you okay. guys? Right. That's not what you did. Go so on. How are you doing? Good. Good. Thank you. All right. Now, you're going to John 14, 16. Right. All right. So, is John 14, 16, is the whole book of John, is John actually authentic to substantiate and verify your Quran. No, it just will substantiate the point that the gentleman was talking about, that there will be a prophet coming and he will be telling the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you believe that Isa is the one that said that in John 14? Yes, I do. You believe that John 14, 16 is of the original Injil? Yeah. Can you prove that? Well, I mean, that's what I read. I'm not, I'm not Christian myself, so I have not read the whole Bible to be able to tell whether it is. But what I'm is sure a lot of it has been corrupted and a lot of it has not been corrupted. There is a criterion that Muslims have to determine what is original and what is not, is what agrees with the Quran and what doesn't, of course, right? Correct, yes. Can you show me where the Quran would state that Jesus said this then? I'm sorry, say that again? Yeah, so can you state where Jesus said these words in the Quran to yeah, confirm? It's, it's in the Quran in Surah al saf verse number 6. Oh, no, because Surah 61.6 says that he's going to name him by name, but he doesn't name him by name in John 14. So no, I read, I read Arabic very well, and he did not say by name. Well, we've had other Arabic speakers up here, and they have confirmed that he does name him by name. You so Google it yourself, and I'm sure you will not find that. As someone that, doesn't, that does speak Arabic, sorry, uh, Palestine is right. So again, pro-Palestine. Yes. Where in the Quran does Jesus state these words? I like I said in Surah Al-Saf, number six. So if we read John fourteen sixteen, it's going to read word for word. Is what's in sixty one six then, right? It is going to say, yeah, John fourteen sixteen says exactly. I believe it says, I'm not really like, but I know the, the, the whole idea of it is, it says that once I depart, I will ask the father to send you another comforter. The oh. word another or can helper. You, okay. Can you show me just a second though? Mm -hmm. Can you show me 
where a law is a father. Well, I mean, the father is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course he is. Whoa. 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 Are you as a Muslim allowed yeah. to call Allah your father? That's Absolutely. the truth. Are you okay? You didn't know that. Of course. So See, you can call Allah, Allah your father. father. You can call Allah the father, the creator, the lover, anything no, you, you can. want. Can you read? Can you read? 1988 to 93, please. 88 to what? To 1988. I don't 90. know. I don't know the way you guys know it. You gotta name the verse to me, like Surah Surah Miriam, Miriam, Miriam. Miriam. 88 or maybe 89 to 93. There's no simple direction. Yeah. 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 Cannot call a God Father. Uh, 88 or maybe 89 to 93. Yeah. You got yeah. another echo yeah. wider. I mean, you're yes. going in a different direction now. We well, started with John. Why, we got We got to teach your Muslim you brother a question, and I answered it. And you have no comments on that. We got to teach your Muslim you brother a question, and I answered it. Why, FM? You got another you have echo. No comments on that. We got to teach your Muslim brother a question, and I answered All right, so proud, proud Palestinian. Yes. You said that you can call a law. A father absolutely okay so in Surah 7 I at 180 it says and the most beautiful names belong to Allah so call him by them and leave those who practice deviation concerning his names they will be recompensed for what they've been doing so can you show me where Allah has named himself uh, um, the father okay in, in Arabic Okay, you could really use the words the way that you feel that it fits. If the word of Allah fits the Father, I could use it. You do realize oh. that you do realize that Muhammad stated mm -hmm. that naming Allah's spiritual father is an imitation of the Christians. That is not true. Prophet forbade you from that imitating is, them is, as he said. Not he is not him. one of us. He who imitates non-Muslims that is do not, not imitate the Jews and the Christians. I'm not imitating the Jews or the Christians because I believe that Christianity and Judaism is really actually the basics of Islam religion. So I'm not imitating. I am telling you what it so is. Where, where does your Allah so call himself Jesus the Father? Is the word of Allah. I am not imitating. Second, proud, proud Palestinian. Wait, proud wait, Palestinian. Wait, wait, Hold on now. Stop wait, manifesting. Wait, where wait, does Allah... Where does Allah call real. himself the Father? I gotta go. I'm, I'm gonna I drop down. Didn't I see it. Go I, I'm telling you. You said where can you see that in Arabic? Hold, hold on, Bob Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna go down. Um, if King Seal wanna come up, I'm gonna drop for King Seal. Um, I'm gonna drop down, and uh, I gotta go to work in the morning. I appreciate your life, brother Chris Claus, Zaid, Prophet Palestinian, my brothers in humanity. I appreciate y'all coming up. I'm about to drop. God bless. You. Yeah, appreciate it. I gotta, um, I gotta go as well too, y'all. So I'm gonna have to close the live down. Uh, Chris, if you want to open up, um, yeah, you can. But I gotta, I gotta head out as well too. So. No, nah, man, I'm good for the night. It's getting late. God bless you all. All right, peace. All right, God bless everybody. I'm going to close the live out. Peace.